stop. Whatever, I'm here. Hey, what's going on? Ah. Back with a real cursed one today. Back with back with a real cursed one today. There's actually no there is no internet footprint of me playing this. Uh five years ago I streamed this game. Fumbled almost every single part of it. Managed to somehow still win. But the whole game is randomly generated, and I believe I played on the easiest difficulty. So today I'm going to play on the hardest, knowing what I remember from five years ago. And if I die, I will restart. Mm -hmm. ah. Ah. You don't even remember what you ate for breakfast. Look, guys, I am legally allowed to replay or rerun a fucking stream if I don't remember anything that fucking happened. If I don't remember what happened in the game, it's because I have, like, dementia. Then it looks like we're good to go. There is no VOD of this game that legally exists. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Did this back in 2019. Think about that. Five years ago. Dude. Five fucking years ago, that was. It was like one of the first things I streamed. Like, ancient era. Twenty nineteen wasn't five years ago, you lie. Bro. Bro. I fucking wish, bro. Bro. It was, bro. Chad, it was. It was five years ago today. Guys, I last streamed this game literally 2019 February. It's bad, guys. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Ah. So yeah, if anyone dares claim that I've ever played this before, uh, chat, I would prefer you all to, uh, lie on my behalf and say he's never played this before. If anyone claims otherwise, tell them they're wrong and they must have imagined it. Tell, tell them I never played this. Please don't. No, please do. He's never played this one, dude. You thinking of you thinking of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, dude? He never streamed this, dude. Lying is bad. Guys, it's not lying. It's spreading misinformation. It's a lot fancier of a term. So lie. No, it's called spreading misinformation. It's different. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. So we're gonna start this on the hardest difficulty today, which is nightmare. Um, and I'll be honest, uh, I, I tested it out because I'm like, I don't do a fucking, I don't label something as hardcore and I'm going to reset my game if I die. Uh, for the record, this game is like fully randomly generated, like kind of Castlevania style. Uh, so there's a lot of like alternative ways to get things done. It's not like a linear game. Um, 
But the, uh, the important thing is that when I played it on nightmare mode, I aggroed two enemies and they proceeded to chase me around the courtyard of the main hub for about three minutes before they killed me. I, I wasn't able to kill a single one of them. Uh, but I, I, guys, I feel like I still have a chance. But if, uh, stuff gets really messed up, we might drop it down to normal difficulty. Although this game actually has pretty good difficulty settings. Um, it does the fun thing, which I like with difficulty in, like, shooters and stuff, where it doesn't just, like, boost enemy health. It just boosts everyone's damage and then halves the enemy's health. So everyone hits way harder, but I still have a chance if I get the first shot. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, look, if you've never seen this game before, it might be one of the most unique, like, weird games from the early 2000s that I've ever played. It, it, this game's a fucking, like, absolute trip, and, uh, I'm excited to stream it again. You called it crusty, though. Things can be crusty and also good. Like, look at Cruelty Squad. Cruelty Squad is one of the crustiest freaking pieces of shit I've ever seen in my life. Like pizza crust. Yeah, yeah. Like socks. All right, you go for a walk. You go outside and walk. All right, I want to see you walk for like... I want- I don't want you to come back until you've walked, like, a marathon. Do you understand? Don't come back. Send them away! Exiled. Oh, yeah. I don't know, dude. I had- you know how, like, when I, I had, sometimes I just get this hunger in me to play a game that I really, really enjoyed, like, 50 years ago. Again, on, like, just the hardest settings possible to see if it can be, like, if it can be done. I did it with Dead Space 2, and I actually had a fucking really good time. Uh, like, a really good time doing with Dead Space, so I'm like, man, I kind of just want to fucking do that more, man. He's gonna start up the game, go, what the fuck, this looks like shit in end stream. Dude, I already like tested it out again. This game, look, this game requires literally hot fixes downloaded from Google Drive, suspicious Google Drive links to even turn on. All right, they sell it on Steam, but that doesn't mean it turns on on Steam. You know what I mean? Like you gotta fucking follow like a, like a, like a couple of links through Google. Hell yeah, Vampire the Masquerade style. Dude, I'm gonna be honest. Vampire the Masquerade was always like neato, but this game was freaking badass. All right, I, I ne Vampire the Masquerade never grabbed me the way this game grabbed me. This game's got that, this game's got that heart. Are the vampires hot though? Uh, I do not, I do not know if I can confirm that. What do you mean? This is your first time playing this, Smile? Exactly! Exactly! It is my first time playing this. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we'll have a nice normal stream today. Tomorrow, I'm doing something with Jamard and Benji and Sam. Uh, not entirely sure what yet. I gave them all like a list of things to do and I asked them to be like, hey, uh, just tell me what you want to do. And they never fucking replied. 
Uh, so enshrouded. Nah, you wanna know what I fucking sent him? I fought him. I, I sent him fucking uh, six days in Fallujah, dude. Let's play some fucked up like military sim shit. All right. I, 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 fuck this like survival crap. I want to freaking I want to like peer over at one of my boys and watch them turn into pink mist. I I, I don't give a shit about like look if I, I, we, if I have to if if we have to take like a week and a half off of like hanging out and shit because everyone's on like trips and shit. All right, before we do like another like four person thing. I'm gonna send us into a shithole game and get us all owned. All right. All right, all right. VR Tarkov win. Streamer, when you play VR Tarkov? Ah, uh, never. Realistically, never. Thanks for asking. When's X game streamer? When's check-in though? Guys. Come on, realistically. Here's the only way I get into a fighting game, and it's if people actually want to unironically watch me suck at it for like the next like fucking year, and that's not happening. I don't have the time otherwise. And plus my hands would hurt after a while. Man, I, I just don't have the kind of time. That'd be free content, though. It's only funny to watch your streamer suck eggs at a fighting game for so long. It's like, yeah, for like an hour. Uh, and then they have to start getting better. <laughs> Chad, at some point, the streamer has to start getting better or it's derivative. All right, or it's the same thing. And uh, I am not a memorized combos kind of like gamer. Eh, vine sauce makes it work somehow. Well, good for vine sauce, man. <laughs> good. I'm happy your streamers got it figured out. Thanks for thanks for keeping me posted. Except that's that's not me. <laughs> so thank you. <sighs> Markiplier would play Tekken for the next sixty days straight, streamer. He'll never be him. Tomato will never be the king of Tekken or FNAF. Guys, I came into the game too late to be the king of FNAF. I came in too late be the king of Tekken, but I came in just in time to be the king of Urge, man. The king of Urge. Okay? We all have our horrible, horrible bullshit. You're the king of Lethal Company? Yeah, right, dude. I was one of the first to play it. I sure as shit not the king of it. Besides, Guys, here's the problem with being the, truly the king of something, and it's that no one's ever going to shut the fuck up about you playing it unironically. All right? People don't real Look, you got we have jokes here about Urge, but no one's fucking kicking my door down every day there's an update trying to get me to play it again. All right? Or like something like that. Um, it's not great to be pigeonholed into a game. It, it really is. It kind of sucks eggs. Uh...
It's nice to just do like three sessions or something like Lethal Company and then be like, and I'm done. And we're done here. I'm moving on. Urge made you. <laughs> you, you are, you are completely, completely ungrateful streamer. You have no idea where you'd be if not for Urge. No idea, you forgot your roots. You owe Urge. Tomato mains Noida. Tomato mains my summer car. Chat, I've just played a lot of games that you like. All right, <laughs> I, I've just played a lot of games that you like. That is what it is. I, I didn't main any of them. It was a Minecraft streamer. Guys, I definitely don't main Minecraft because I've never beaten a mod pack of Minecraft and I've never killed the Ender Dragon in Minecraft in original base vanilla Minecraft. Maybe someday I should try to do that. Nah, probably not. Ever? Why the hell would I do that? By the time that the end... Guys, by the time that the end came out for Minecraft, I was already playing modded Minecraft. I didn't give a shit about vanilla Minecraft literally ever again. That's a problem. Uh, tech it was happening a around the around the time the end was put out in Minecraft was when tech it happened And once tech it happened it was over dude. I Was never going back Tech it was so long ago, bro I, it, 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 it didn't it doesn't change the fact I don't ever think I'm gonna beat the minecraft I don't think that's ever gonna happen I mean like I could I could I could probably beat it in like a day or two but like I don't uh, like on like even like hardcore or something but I probably would probably be fucking nah, I don't know prove it Guys, I could fucking bum rush that game. I could. I mean, I'm not gonna, but I could. Do not test me. This bozo could never kill a wither. Yeah, I just don't really. Do I like have to kill them? Do I? Ha I don't have to kill the wither to like beat Minecraft, do I? Nah. Then who cares? Yes. Not really. Okay, that was a lot of mixed messages. How the fuck do you guys not know your Minecraft terms and facts? You'd think everyone would know Minecraft but me at this point, Jesus. Minecraft stinks. Yeah, no, Minecraft doesn't stink, it's just, um... Look, I desire more complexity in my Minecraft than what base Minecraft offers. It's not like base Terraria, where I would say without mods, base Terraria fucking slaps. It is exactly the level of content I desire. I beat that fucking game. I loved it, right? Minecraft feels like at a certain point, they just were like, eh, mods make everything like better anyway. So we'll just like improve the base of it and everyone will do it with mods. Which is fine. Minecraft is Minecraft. They don't need to change much there. But my God, uh, I'm not. I, I'm not drawn to go back to vanilla Minecraft ever. That's just never gonna happen. Hell, at this point, it gives me. I have genuine anxiety if I open my inventory in Minecraft and I don't see the just enough items tab on the side. I actually get stressed out. I start sweating. That ain't right. That ain't right. I start stressing out. Something's wrong. Terraria Calamity Stream 1. Why don't I just play like freaking like a bullet hell game, dude? <laughs> Guys, I'm going to say something controversial. Terraria is already barely readable in its vanilla form, and it just gets a pass on some of the boss battles for me. 
I don't need to go cross-eyed playing a mod of Terraria to add a couple of new items. All right, I, I can't, I just can't. I can't. The biggest problem with modded Terraria is that the only way to make the game harder because of the fact that Terraria is like a 2D game with like very, it's got very specific movement and everything and like, I don't know, the only way to really make it harder is to add more shit on screen trying to kill you and it just becomes bullet hell every time. Every mod of Terraria becomes bullet hell for the bosses. He'll literally never fire a clay pot in Vintage Story, he's coping. I don't even know why I read that. I was like, you're just baiting me to talk about Vintage Story again and frankly, it's pathetic. Frankly, man, it's, uh, pathetic. And it worked? Yeah, I mean, if I was talking about it, it would have worked. But it didn't, because I'm not talking about it anymore. Aether mod stream one? Dude! You got do you guys fucking remember when the Aether for Minecraft came out? Was any was there any Minecraft kids around back when the Aether came out? Holy shit! Dude, that blew my fucking mind back in the day, dude. That blew my fucking mind when I was like a little kid. When I was a wee lad. I was like, damn dude! They made a whole new nether that's actually got content in it. They actually made like, someone made a good version of the nether. <laughs> oh my God, the nether is so boring, dude. They've never been able to make the nether properly, like interesting to me. It's always been like mods, do it like mods can like fix it up quite a bit but holy shit vanilla minecraft nether even now with like an update that's added more shit to it it is just obnoxious it's annoying it it looks it looks bad like and it's i don't like i don't i just don't like going around it traveling sucks i don't know how they ever fix it i don't think they ever will They'd have to redo the entire generation system of it to make it palatable. Look, I just think that having, uh, having a, a zone where it's mostly like really big scattered like plateaus floating in the sky and lava beneath it that instantly kills you and just a million fucking like... Yeah, they've got, you'd have to have some way to make traversal easier earlier than having like the gliding suit you get from the end. Like maybe like, I don't know. Like, someone just said a really good idea. Saddles on guests. Like, I don't know, something, dude. Something that's exclusive to that zone that you can't take out of it. But, like, just to make traversal a little easier, because Jesus Christ. Jesus. Remember when tomatoes, the intro, were high quality? You're right, man. You're right, man. Tomatoes, the intro, were high quality. He's so right, dude. Twenty fifteen was peak intro, my guy. I think I did do one or two streams back then. I think that was around the time that I got given this name. I think I did one or two back then, but I don't think I I don't think I like actually like turned 
hang on, let me think. I don't think I talked in intros back then. I think I immediately went into the game. Huh. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. He used to love gaming. Back in the day, I wasn't so jaded. I used to have fun playing this shit. Then it all became about the money. Shit. Then it all became about the money. He used to be a Gary lit. Like we used to play Gary's mod every day back in the day. Used to play boatloads of G mod. You fell off, dude. Squeaklets, thanks for the thousand bits. What this garbage? What is this trash? Stuffs ten dollars into the garbage can. <laughs> what is this fucking garbage? Fix yourself! How much do I gotta pay you to get it away from me? Used to be a murder miner's main TBH. You guys want me to fucking like remind? All right, hang on a second here. Oh, hang now, hold on one second. Tomato gaming murder. Mi I'm just gonna check how many videos I made of that shit. What do you know? Three. Eight to nine years ago, I did three. <laughs> Three videos, nine years ago. He mained it, dude. He mained it. He fell off. They were great and I loved them. <sighs> Maybe one of these days, guys, I'll ask pointlessly. I don't know, like Sam Bench and Gmart if they want to play Murder Miners. They'll probably say yes. They'll, they'll probably say yes. Damn that, and they'll save your career. Guys. One of these days, the boys gotta play Jackbox. I don't want it. No, 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 I can't play Jackbox. I've, de I've declined many opportunities to play that fucking game, and I won't ever. All right, I'm never gonna fucking do that. Uh, it's hot today. Oh, it's hot. Jackbox is hot today. You are so quiplash coded. Shut the fuck up, one. And two, guys, I, I do not like being put on the spot uh, to like do funny things. All right. I, I can't, if you ask me to tell you a joke on the spot in response to like a funny phrase or something. Uh-uh, it ain't possible. I'm sorry, but it's not possible. It's your goddamn job. No, it isn't. He's a clown, not a comedian. <laughs> uh, true, true, true. Big difference. A lot of people get them confused. Jester looking at guys. I just look. I choke when I'm whenever I've played Jackbox in the past. I choke. I seize up. I start making disgusting sounds. I go like, and I freaking. I just kind of sit there, and then people wonder what's going on. And then I Alt F4 the game, and I like hang up the phone. 
and then I'll they'll message me later and they'll ask me what happened to me. I'll say like, sorry, I had um like something bad happened. So there was a tragedy, and then I'll just, I won't talk to them again for the next week or so to really like drive that home because I can't admit the fact that I literally didn't know what to say in response to someone writing like like D's in all caps on like a whiteboard in front of me in the game. And I didn't know what to respond with. Just, just say nuts, bro. <laughs> bro, all you have to do is say nuts, dude. <laughs> Can't do it, man. Can't do it. Ah, oh, man. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll be, I'll be able to do something like that. Maybe. It's low on, it's low on my uh, priority list, guys. Dude, I have this big problem. In, in the build-up to Monday, the accursed day, I've had to start changing my diet. Not one time have I ordered something to eat that hasn't accidentally had one of the things I'm not supposed to be eating anymore in it by accident. And I'll get like a mouth, I'll put one bite in my mouth, and then I'll go like... Oh! <laughs> I had to give it to someone else and order another thing. How the fuck, man? How they getting all this stuff in my food? <laughs> like it keeps happening. I'm fighting for my life, dude. Everything got beans in it. Everything has beans. Ruin his poop day, Agent Forty Seven. What the fuck? Are you telling me someone's got it out for me? What are you telling me? Someone's gonna tell me I'm being set up? Dude, it's actually like a little ridiculous. Here's some, you know, you know what was the problem this time? I ordered like a, a, a poke bowl and I was like, awesome. Fish, some like various vegetables, awesome. Make sure I don't get, get rid of the corn. Can't have that in there. Uh, and I order it. You know what was fucking in there? You know what was in there? forgot to take out the edamame and for some reason my brain while reading it was like edamame is a vegetable edamame ain't beans <laughs> and that one, it got to me and it's in my mouth I'm like Ugh. Bleh. <laughs> like a like a baby that ate something for the first time and just hated it dude I was, no I'm just so look hey I mean other people in my family are eating real good as I uh, slowly devolve back into not knowing what's even like an option for me eat nothing but oatmeal wrong you can't have oats doofus as of tomorrow I can no longer eat oats either no oatmeal Gerber baby food. <laughs> oh, look, I mean, I can eat a lot of pasta as long as it ain't whole grain. So I guess, uh, I guess it's time to intake some carbs. You guys know what I mean? I guess it's time for some carbs. Just freeze water and eat that. Mmm. Mmm. Gnocchi on the side. Dude, hell yes. Honestly, I could fucking slam that. I could fucking slam that. I mean, I, I can do like eggs and stuff. I mean, it's not like I'm out of things to eat. It's just that like, when you're looking for things to eat, suddenly everything you're looking at is things you cannot eat. You know, that's the problem. It's, 
normally I'd be able to connect the dots, just be like, let me look at all this and then just figure out what I can eat. But like, if I do it in the other order and I'm just scrolling through a list of things, all of it is stuff I can't eat and my brain starts getting confused and frazzled. You know? <clears throat> Your body wants the nutrients it can't have. Some people live like that permanently. And, I f and I'm sorry that they live like that. I'm sorry that that's a life they have to live. I don't normally have to live like that. And all right, just because I can understand how miserable it must be to be them. Uh, dude, I, I'm, I need, uh, I need my, I need my freaking beans, dude. <laughs> all right. I need my beans. I love beans. Huge fan. Damn, man. Damn. He's fueled by beans. Dude, I just, I just want, I just want to rest easy. I want to have dinner tonight and not be like, mm. I guess I should just cook for myself in the next couple of days. I mean, I've already, I already cook for myself a lot. It's just usually like, usually right after stream, like mid evening or like early evening, I guess. I usually order something because I, I don't want to cook four different fucking meals a day because I'm always hungry. Maybe I, maybe I just got to cook for myself more again. Tomato's body is a machine that turns beans into internet cyberbullying. Mmm. Okay. All right. Okay. People that like beans are disgusting freaks. I will die on this hill. What else the matter with you? Yeah, then die. <laughs> then die. I can't believe anyone wouldn't just like enjoy, like what do you, what, what do you pick beans out of your food? What do you order a burrito and say no beans in this burrito, please? Dude, you get laughed out of the fucking restaurant. You get laughed out of the fucking restaurant. Just rice in there. I also say no rice. Are you not? You know, if you take out all the main components of a meal, they're not going to charge you less. They're going to fucking laugh it all the way to the kitchen and go, we're saving fucking half the price of this for that. <laughs> Kindergarten diet. Jesus Christ, man. Horrible. Chipotle is nasty as hell anyways. Is your baseline for like what beans are in is just Chipotle? Is that is that your bit is that the only Chipotle is staggeringly look guys, here's the problem. Taco Bell may blow up people's freaking whole deal almost every time you eat there, but somehow they've never had any, like, outbreaks constantly on the news of, like, horrible, horrible bacteria outbreaks just destroying everything. Uh, man, you get, like, three strikes, and then I'm, I, I can't eat there anymore. If, if you've destroyed people three separate times in a row, that's it, man.
Yeah, because nobody eats Taco Bell. Hey, doofus, how'd you get in here? The idiot convention's another couple blocks that way. Dude. A lot of people eat Taco Bell. I don't to protect myself, but a lot of people eat Taco Bell. A lot of people. It's everywhere. I do it to prove my strength? Prove it to who? They, what do you have a, what, what do you mean prove your strength? Are you walking up to someone afterwards? Like on your way to your final battle in the toilet and going, I'll be back. I have to blow up my toilet from all the crunch wraps I ate earlier. You remember the ones you warned me not to eat? I'll be back. God's given me another battle. <laughs> I pooped Giga Chad. The bell has never given me tummy ache or bathroom problems. To be real, chat, the bell hasn't, in the last times I've had the accursed bell, in like, the last time I would have had it would have been like maybe, a, maybe like nine months ago, maybe 10 months ago. Um, Man, I felt fine like the next day, but like there's a level of sh like internal shame you feel. It feels good eating it, like eating these foods is great awesome no complaints in real time but like the the almost 30 seconds after the last bite the level of like <laughs> post bell clarity yeah the level of like shame i felt and like overwhelming nastiness is it's impossible to overcome like i like i did something really bad Like, it's all mental at this point. Never never be ashamed of your chalupa, Mio. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Dude, I am ashamed. I don't, I don't want that shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I, dude, I can't anymore, man. It's not even about being afraid of what could happen to me. It's being, it's immediately feeling punished. I mean, that's all fast food for me, though. Mental indigestion. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Wait, does Tomato mainly cook his own meals now? Oh yeah, I mostly cook for myself. It's only usually like after streams specifically that I may order something in like the- I cook like late night, like dinner. So like after stream is usually my lunch. Um, cause I wake up around noon, so I'll like breakfast, stream, I might order something for lunch, and then I'll cook something for dinner before I go to sleep. Uh, but, uh, I mostly cook my own meals now, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's been the case for the last, like, two years. Guys, that was, everyone, everyone had their mid-pandemic hobby that they picked up to try to like smother out some of the overwhelming loneliness and dread and mine was cooking
My, mine was cooked. Mine was painting miniatures. Good, man. Hell, hell yes. I couldn't do that. I'd be too nervous about painting it wrong. I just kept playing video games. Dude. Good on you, man. Mine is Excel. I think, dude, I think you got conditioned by your job to think that was a hobby. Uh, but good on you, too. Um... Mine was alcoholism. Man. You're, you're gonna be okay one day. What's your favorite thing to cook? Hmm. Hmm. This is really mean. Uh, peanut curry chicken over like rice and like shredded like a uh, like carrot and um cucumber that I have let, let, let you marinate in like a uh, vinegar and stuff really good had that recipe for a long time it's one of my like constant go-tos hearty lots of stuff in it thank god I'm not allergic to peanuts. But it's fast, it takes like 20 minutes to make, compared to a lot of other stuff. It's good. Honestly, it's a shame you can't do cooking streams. Uh, if I move, soon uh that'll happen i i really like to do cooking streams that'd be a lot of fun honestly um but i can't do it in my current setup my current my current kitchen is not accommodating for that kind of setup it's too small um and i, I there would be like there would just be too much going on it'd be a mess not possible right now can't work under these conditions. Subathon cooking stream pog. There's, it'll be a cold day in hell when I do a subathon. Guys, it'll be a cold day. A cook along would be awesome. See, that, you see, the problem is. No matter what I, I gotta make sure whatever I cook is something no one else can follow along with. All right, because if I do almost anything that anyone does normally, it, the whole chat's gonna be people going, wrong, 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 dude. It's gotta be some, it's gotta be some fancy bullshit. Okay, it's gotta be some fancy crap. Or like weird shit. Make a risotto? I've made risottos before. Though I can't really imagine, guys, that's like asking me to make a French scramble. I, I of, the, of the things I would wanna cook on a stream, not, I wouldn't really want to cook something that I have to very carefully stir for like 30 minutes straight for it to be good. <laughs> you know, like, I, you're going to be working somewhat distracted the whole time you're cooking on a stream. I don't think I'd want to do like something where if you, if you fucking zone out for like a half second, it's ruined. The risotto is tiring. It's not hard, but it's like tiring. Lasagna. Mmm. Oh. Cake then? I said I wanted to do a cooking stream, not a baking stream. All right. Pizza. Guys, I actually can make a pretty mean pizza. I've got the freaking pizza block or the pizza slab. The pizza stone. 
I can make a mean pizza. I can cook that thing pretty good. Make a good pizza. The czar. Show us. Nah, dude, that shit's scary. <laughs> they, don't, they don't tell you. Look, here's the thing. Pizza stone or no, they, it's a scary thing to pick up this giant preheated in the oven disc that's scalding hot and then put a like raw pizza on it. It's, it's a scare, like it's a whole thing. Raw pizza, yeah, it's raw until it goes on the rock and then you toss it back in the thing. Why are you picking up heated pizza stones? Chat. Pizza stone is supposed to be preheated before you put the pizza on. Like it's supposed to, it's supposed to be in the oven before you, you don't, you don't, you don't, you, guys, you, you don't put it on, you don't put the pizza and the stone into the oven to cook. The whole point is that it needs to be hot before. They don't have a pizza stone. Ah, yes. Just leave it in. Chat, sometimes if you're using a full, like fresh dough for your pizza, sometimes you need it out of the oven to actually get the pizza onto it before you put it in. It's not always so simple as you can just fucking flop the pizza into your oven onto the stone perfectly. Not everyone has a pizza peel. This is exactly why I'm not going to do fucking something like this on a cooking stream. He doesn't have the specific pizza tools. He's a fucking idiot. He's a fucking idiot. Oh my God. I might as well just use fucking like garage equipment. I might as well pull out a fucking snow shovel to huck my pizza into the oven to piss people off. Just use my fucking like lawn equipment. Actually, that'd be pretty good. All right, if anyone steals that, uh, they stole it from me. If anyone does that uh, before I do it, they robbed it from me. All right? They, only I could have thought of that. And if someone did it before me already, before I even said this, uh, two people can have the same idea and I'm allowed to do it too. Thanks for understanding, guys. I mean, the man can afford fancy vinegar, but not a pizza peel. One thing I will use many times. The other thing, I don't make a boatload of pizzas. <laughs> That's the difference. I don't make a boatload of pizzas. Some parts of it I'm willing to be like, yeah, I would like this part of it, but I don't need a full pizza construction, uh, like setup. Why not? Why not? Dude. I don't want a ton of pizza. Guys, I've kind of, I'm kind of past my pizza arc. I think everyone has a pizza arc between like the age of like, I don't know, the moment they become an adult that can afford things up to like maybe your 20, like your late 20s. And I guess I'm getting there early. I'm kind of over my pizza arc. I'm kind of done with pizza a lot. I, I, I like calzones and stromboli. I don't have a lot of pizza anymore. Maybe I'll come back around. He just wants boring old man food. There's nothing boring about a calzone. Okay. There ain't, ain't nothing boring about a calzone. It's folded up pizza, but like I that look the ricotta There's a there's a different flavor profile to it. It is it is preferable to me right now J 
just turned 29. I like margarita pizzas only now. I see. I see. Mm. At tomato, how about a mean jalapenos and bacon mac and cheese? Guys, if there's one thing I don't need in my life, it's more foods that add bacon to it to make it taste better because it can't stand on its own without the other parts. I need, I need no bacon crumbled up in any of my food. That sounds good. I gotta start cutting bacon out of my life. I just have to. It's over. I can't, everything I order online it has like bacon in it somehow. Sometimes I don't even know how. What is the grossest food you've cooked, tomato? Hmm. Grossest as in I shouldn't fucking eat this trash or grossest as in it made me feel gross afterwards. As in spiritually loathsome. Both. Okay, grossest thing I shouldn't fucking eat was a... Mm, that's actually kind of tricky because I don't really... I've never really fucked up cooking. Uh... No... Huh. I, like, actually have to, like, really... I can... Let me go to the last one first, the other thing. Which is specifically... The thing that made me feel the grossest after eating it was actually something I talked about recently, where I made, like, these really good, uh, grits. Like, it was awesome! Loved it! This gave me the same kind of, like, post-food reaction as my Taco Bell story did. Uh, where it's just like, once I was done eating all of it, and I cleaned my plate, I was like, I feel like this might have been one of the greatest mistakes I made in my whole life. Uh, but I would cook it again. Now, the grossest thing I've cooked, like, that made me, like, guys, because for it to be gross, like, I don't eat, if I cooked it myself, simultaneously, if it's still nasty as shit when I should eat it, I'm going to throw it out. I might not even remember it. I, I feel like, hmm, yeah, I don't know. I haven't, like, there's not been anything that I've cooked and been like, this is unsalvageable, toss it out. I don't think so. Worst I ever did was a crock pot of garlic oil gassed the whole room with hell vapors, but why? But why did you do that to yourself? Answer me. You should cook the one day blindness perpetual stew, tomato. Why are you even fucking talking? What are you people talking about at this point? What is that? What are you talking about? The one day blindness perpetual stew? It's a meme, boomer. Can we get, guys? Can the memers please go to the fucking door? Can everyone stand by the fucking door if you're a fucking memer? Had enough of it. Go to the door. All right. I just want you to stand over there. I don't want you so close to me. All right, stand over there. I sent you a meme, sir. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> is is this the meme? This I don't should I like Hang on. <laughs> Dude, who fucking who fucking makes this shit? What is this? 
how to punish my daughter. My daughter is biting my hair. I'm a single father, so I don't have the maternal instinct. Calling all moms. Best way to tell her this is not okay without being too harsh. Please write the answer. Feed her a stew that makes her blind. Feed her a stew that makes her go blind for one day. <laughs> that <flies over. laughs> that's, that's pretty good actually yeah i mean when, the, when you put it like that it, when it <laughs> all right my mima never gave me blinding stew yeah my mima never gave me the blinding stew Okay, guys, I, I want to play the vampire game. I've, I've literally never played it before in my life, and that's why I'm playing it on uh, hardcore, on the hardest difficulty. I may lower the difficulty if it ends up too hard, but, um, guys, 2019 wasn't real. And also, simultaneously, I didn't get the best ending if I did play it, which I didn't. And also, simultaneously, frick you. But yeah, this game's really cool. It's actually, like, one of my... It, it is one of my favorite Krusty games uh, on Steam. It's you can't play it on Steam without adding like a, without like installing a fix at this point, really. Um, but once you get in the right resolution, it works uh, works real well, and uh, it is fucking unique. The reason I'm willing to do a permadeath like reset hardcore run on this is because it's actually randomly generated. Um, big parts of this game are procedurally like set up kind of like Castlevania. It's very cool. It's a good time. We're gonna have a good time today. And if no one, if people don't have a good time, you're in big fucking trouble. You understand? Because I don't fucking remember shit about this game. I literally don't remember anything that I fucking did in the game when I played it like five, six years ago, if I ever even did. Okay. So I'm basically rolling uh, fresh again. You killed a dog or something. That wouldn't have happened because I would have never done that. That doesn't sound like me, does it? That doesn't sound like me, does it? Nah, that doesn't sound like me. New game. We're gonna play on Nightmare. Now, if I die, we will reset. If I die enough times, we might drop to medium. I've only given Nightmare a little bit of a look today. We're gonna do some testing when I get in. I gotta do some warm-ups. But first, we'll watch the starting cutscene. Hello? What the? F What's happening? Ah, yes, my family. There's my. I don't know any of their names. There's. Yep, On a couldn't... misty oh. October night in the Transylvanian mountains, you arrive to join your family and some of their closest friends at Castle Malachi, where your sister Rebecca is to be wed to the son of the wealthy Romanian Count. Arriving a day later than your family, you're thrilled about the reunion and the festivities that will follow. However, as the coach taking you from the train station hurries through the fog towards the dark and ominous looking castle, you get a horrible feeling that everything is not what it is supposed to be. Dracula? Chat wrong, stupid. It's Malachi. That's not Dracula. This guy is totally fine. Alright, there's nothing... There's nothing wrong with this Romanian Count. He's not a vampire. Okay? As the coach drops you off at the castle gates, you're left alone in the dark, your torch barely illuminating the large blackened gates in front of you. An icy wind sends a horrifying chill through your bones as you manage to push the massive gates open. Walking you mean through pull the them open? towards the empty castle plaza, you mean you mean you pull them open? 
for the worst. God help us all. Well, here we are. You enter an old stone-laid courtyard fronting a huge ancient castle. You must rescue your family. Press tab to look at a picture of your family. Ah, yes, now I remember it all very well. Here we have Melissa, my aunt, and Uncle Mortimer, my uncle, who, not to be confused with any of my other, any of these other characters who are not my uncle. Uh, there's Greg. Wait, no, he's also my uncle. Dr. Amersfield, who's our family doctor, he just lives with us. Wilfred. Um, my brother. Uh, Belmore. Grandfather, who is, of course, an unnamed protagonist type character. Grandpapa. Aunt Sophie and Buster. Mm hmm, yes. The Kingstones, who have no relation to us whatsoever. And Rebecca, my sister. And there's also Mr. and Mrs. Patterson. Yes. And here we are. Uh, so right now it's 22:31:11, chat. Uh, the, when the game now I know you might be confused because that image above the clock ticking up is actually a compass, not a clock. We have until the sun comes up to beat the whole game, following that timer, or everyone on this screen dies, and we get the bad ending. This game is actually timed. Uh, it's got a timer mechanic, so we have lots of time still. Don't worry, we're everything's fine. But we should... Oh. I don't remember that ever happening before. That was a big... That was a big strike of lightning. That shit almost freaking killed me. Okay, well, I don't know why I'm saving. I mean, I... Hang on, let me just... Uh, no, 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 no. It's fine, guys. It's fine. <sighs> James, the pain. One guy down. I can't take it, my Father Avril is fucking it's done so. One down. <laughs> We've been fools, I say, fools. The count is a vampire. Take my crucifix. The vampires will back away from it. Oh, I'm wounded badly. Perhaps I have half an hour left to live. Find Dr. Amersfield and bring him here, or I don't think I'll make it. You could use the main entrance from where you came as a sanctuary. The spawns of hell do not venture there. Oh, Dr. Amersfield, Aunt Emily, and Uncle Andrew, and Gregory are hiding in the East Wing. You must find and rescue them to the sanctuary. Oh, I've blessed some of the pathways in the East Wing with a green light to mark the way. Holy shit. Wow, he's really... He's good. Uh, okay, so he does die. If you cut him enough times, he does die. And that's one guy down. So we're going to go ahead and just new game. Uh, one guy down. We're going to reset it. This time I'm going to try to catch him. Uncle, wait! Wait, no, he's not my uncle. Father, wait! He's not actually my father. He's a priest. I got you! I got you! Oh, fuck! The pain. Oh! I can't take it much longer. Please, please bring Dr. Amersfield. <laughs> I that fucking snap, dude. But I think I got him. Oh shit. Well, I dropped him. I mean, maybe that was better for him? So now I have this crucifix, which I can use to, like, kind of blast people with the power of God. Oh. Oh. If he was a demon, which he's not. He's just a priest. Now, chat, here's the thing. Currently, he's guiding our way with these green lights. There's a green light down that hill. Now, this whole map is randomly generated to different winds. There's no confirmation or guarantee what loot is going to be in any specific room. But I can tell you one thing. First thing we should do is not treat this run like a real run. I never used this item five years ago. Um, we're probably going to need it on the highest difficulty, so I should get used to using it. The room is clear. Ow, fuck. All right, the door closed behind me. There's a little guy on the ceiling. Be gone, 
the demon of hell. Be gone! Stay up there! Stay on up there on the, on the rafters there! <laughs> Loot this quick, there's nothing in there. You stay up there now! Be gone, back demon! Hang on, I gotta... Oh, I got some bullets. You stay up there now! You go on now, power crash! Stay on up there now! All right, well, I mean, that went really well, actually. This thing's great. Now, you guys think I can take that guy in like a fucking sword fight, though? Demone! Demone! Oh, shit. Once more, and again! And, uh, oh, shit. What the fuck? Back, both of you now! Be gone! Back from what you came, Demone! You two just back it on up. I'm gonna go. Okay. And I have a sword. Okay. There's nothing in there. We're gonna go. <laughs> oh shit. Don't put your sword away. Ha! Ow! Ow! Oh! 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 It's okay, guys, because I actually want to show you guys something really important for Nightmare Run. You saw how bad my sword was there, right? You saw that? All right. Fuck that item. Check this out. <laughs> you guys are gonna wanna see this. Sorry, Father, for having to watch you die again. Uh, you guys are gonna wanna see this. Uh, I'm going to brandish simply my bare hands this time. Demoni! He's dead. Yeah, the sword sucks. Uh, they don't tell you that the strongest weapon in this game is actually your bare hands. It has no cap for stamina use. Uh, Awaken, Demo! Welcome to Earth, all right? Yeah, wake up. Wake up. And they're dead. <laughs> oh, shit! And they're dead. Oh, shit! And they're dead for real this time. We got him. Hang on, you wait right there. I might have to get like a stake or something to put him down for good this time. Anyways, I really shouldn't have picked up those health kits because I could have used those later once I got actually hit by something because you get over health in this game. So, uh, my guy just kind of oh. wasted those, but whatever. Oh. Father, oh. oh my God, we should get you somewhere safe, Father. Don't worry, I'm gonna keep you safe. <laughs> Hang on, let me just... Why if I just... <laughs> Damn! He fucking fell to his death. I told him to be careful. Shit! <laughs> Alright, so... In reality, nothing spawns down there. That's like a starter room made to like... Just get you owned once. So we're just not even gonna go down there yet. We'll go down there if we think I need an item later. It's time to do this for real this time. Now that we've all warmed up. Now that we've warmed up. How many more times is this guy gonna fall from the fourth floor? Man, give me your fucking shit. Father, oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, you're gonna be fine. I just have, I have to go check out some of the side rooms of the manor. Just give me a second. Now, we should be careful. We have no idea what's awaiting us behind any of these doors. Oh shit. Ah! Ah! Oh, fuck! Ah! Ah! Okay, I'm gonna have to be really careful going in there next time. I'm gonna have to run. Bad luck. Bringing fists to a gunfight. You can actually get the enemies to shoot each other in this. Um, you can actually get enemies to shoot each other. They can kill each other. So I gotta do a lot of fancy kiting until I get gear, because the problem is I just don't have a gun yet. Um, quiet, father, I don't have time. Everything's randomly generated in this game for drops. We can find a gun off of like enemies. We can find keys to access new zones from any of the side rooms. Uh, we just kind of have to explore around. Now, of course, time is of the essence, so we do also have to be kind of quick. 
That's a tough barrel. We can't get in there. I'm gonna keep looking around. This time, we're gonna be careful. Check in here first. Gunpowder and bullets. Don't take that. Save that for later. All right. Now, most enemies will chase you across the whole fucking map to kill you. Um, this time I'm gonna be a little bit more clever, though. I'm gonna immediately go back here and pick up these four complimentary wooden stakes. Yes. This will help us quite a bit. Now we can stab vampires, put them down for good. Excuse me, father. Why would you need those to stab vampires and put them down for good? Don't take that health kit. And another steak. Come on. There's no green light down there, so we don't actually need to go that way, because the father will tell us which way is actually ideal. There's actually no green light down this one either. He may, I may have to talk to him to get that. Okay, so these guys are going to show up again, but this time I'm going to be a little bit more careful. I'm going to kite this guy. Okay, gun guy came up first. Whoa! Whoa, 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 and that's a little bit of a trick move there. <laughs> what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> There's some speedrun tech in this game. You can jump on the enemies to um, initiate a special skip. Uh, there's like all kinds of tricks in this game. Oh, shut the fuck up, father. Okay, let's just shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Did I already get the crucifix? I already have it. Please. Shut up. All right. So there's actually the green light points down here, so I am gonna clear this spot again. Get rid of this guy. He's dead. Good. Uh, when this person wakes up, I'm gonna beat the shit out of them, too. Yep. Yeah, wake up. Yep. Yep. And there you go. Don't get up. And there you go. You dead this time? Alright. So... Bullets. Good. Just gotta get lucky with finding a gun. I think we also get a guaranteed gun from the uh, dude with the gun downstairs, but obviously that's going to be tricky. Oh. oh. Dude. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Health, there's a lot of health. I just gotta remember to run back for it, chat. But here's the problem. I'm gonna quick save to make an example for this. Um, though I'm not, I'm going to reload after I do this. If I know what, what's the quick load button? Quick load is F6. All right, th this is just an example here, okay? Yeah, you take fall damage if you run downstairs. Uh, you actually take- you get lift off, and you, uh, run downstairs, uh, too fast, and you'll break your legs. So, um, you gotta be careful. You gotta go slow down the stairs in this. Now, all I technically have to do is find a way to get rid of the scythe guy, and then get rid of the gun guy without the gun guy doing too much damage on me. I'll have healing to fill my health back up. But I should be as prepared as possible, because I can't pull both Scythe guys. Oh, that's really lucky. Alright, we already have the key to the East Wing. Maybe we just skip Scythe guy. We'll just not go to them for now. Uh, we'll go straight to the East Wing. See, it's all random. So this time I got a key to the East Wing almost immediately. Baby seed. Dude. Alright, it's random generation in these video games, guys. Sometimes you just gotta get lucky, alright? Look, I'm sorry this is a God Seed speedrun build. Uh, this is a god seed. I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, we're gonna check all the side corridors. There's also these sections over here. There's this hole. Use the crucifix on the water to make it holy. Holy water splashed on creatures of darkness from a chalice is a powerful weapon. Well, I don't have a chalice, but that's helpful for when I have one. All I have right now is my bare hands. Check over there. There's a. I think this goes to the courtyard outside. Doggy! What did you fucking think was gonna happen? You lunge at me and attack me? Alright, that's the only one. Come on. We got work to do. You dare attack me? Come on, guys. So, there can be some good loot over here in the crypt zone. Now, this zone is typically 
absolutely crawling with ghouls, so we should be careful. Father reveals Encyclopedia of the Undead, Part 7. The ghoul represents a more demonic aspect in the spirit world and can spawn anywhere within the castle grounds. A ghoul is similar to the vampire in that they are reanimated dead people in human form. The ghoul, however, eats human flesh while the vampire drinks blood. The ghoul acts neither by will nor intellect, but will back away from holy relics such as a crucifix. Copy that. Draws crucifix. Let's loot this fucking place and get the hell out of here. Tuck the edge. You have no idea if there's gonna be some kind of fucking creature in there. Keep this thing charged up. Father of Riddle's Encyclopedia of the Undead Part 4. Is this just gonna be his- did he leave his whole freaking memoir in this crypt? The Shadow Vampires are fragile and ancient vampires. They are hollow and their withering contorted bodies are shrouded only by layers and layers of black torn cloth. They fear holy items and are thrown back to the land of the shadows when facing a crucifix. Shadow Vampires strike from the shadows unheard and unseen, making their ambushes extremely lethal. What does that say? Just because you guys have bad eyes doesn't mean I do, all right? Don't worry. Don't worry, Grandpa. I'll help you get through this. Don't- Hey, don't worry, Gramps. They're gonna be all right. Oh, shit! Be gone! Be gone, demon! Be gone, demon! Be gone! Be gone! Hang on. Be gone! Oh, fuck! All right, that's it. Okay, it's a lot easier still just to punch him out than to trust the crucifix to do much of anything. The problem is you can't rotate the, um... can't rotate your weapons that quickly in this game. And your stuff doesn't always come out right away. See, I do want to loot these. But I kind of have to be careful. You also get stuck on certain things on the ground sometimes, which is bad. Okay, there's another one. Let him close the gap. And he got the first hit, but that's fine. We have plenty of healing back at the base. Oh, my fucking eyes! Lightning keeps striking directly next to my eyes! Somehow that one hasn't noticed me. That one also hasn't noticed me. That one I gotta take down right now. Got it. Any more in here? This is- we need a crypt key to open that one. You got a hit on me, but I didn't do that much damage. Alright. So, there's no reason to be here other than to get a crypt key. That stun lock is so stupid. Guys, have you seen how much damage I take in this game? Kinda need it. BE GONE! BE GONE! Crucifix fucking sucks, but I can't take on two people at the same time with this fucking, like, fist build I'm doing. So, um... Unfortunately, I have to use it for, like, groups of enemies that, uh, like, gang up. Be go! Back up! Power- power of God? Okay, they stopped caring, guys. Okay, guys, they stopped caring. They don't, they don't care about the cross anymore. Jeez, they fucking- they're queuing up their moves on me! That's it! I lived. I'm gonna have to go find healing now, guys. That was really bad. Good news is there's healing right here. 37. Okay. The crucifix is not an option for survival. We are not gonna be able to use that. Uh, they just don't care. So we are gonna be careful. We're gonna go into the east wing after I've looted the like bottom section for some extra loot. Father Avil is reeling in pain right now. Back up to 62. Uh, yeah, we'll be fine on health, because I think there's a health kit in there, and there's one in here as well. Uh, we'll fill up back to full. 87, we're good. Alright. Oh, there's also another one of these, which is actually a medium, so that'll just fill me back up all the way to full. Alright. Excuse me, father. I'm going in. East wing. Two wooden stakes. I mean, I still feel better with my fists out. Right now. Oh, fuck, Jesus! Freak! Big off! Okay. 
I uh, can't fucking see for shit in here. Hang on, I'm just gonna light this wooden stake on fire to turn it into a torch so I get a little bit more uh, illumination. Now, let's try to get as much loot as we can. Let's be careful now. Any ghouls? You really shouldn't respond on command. When someone asks if there are ghouls, you really shouldn't reveal yourself right away off of that idiot. Moron. Medium health pack. I gotta stand back when I open these so I don't accidentally overheal. I'm gonna be wasting health that I might need to go back to later. And I'm sure- I didn't grab the sword because it's useless to me. I'm not sure if I can break these boxes or not. I can't remember. But, um... I mean, the crosses are good. But, frankly, I feel like the crosses are gonna get- let enemies get free hits on me. So I'm kind of trying to be... I feel like I shouldn't stand on that. Health kit. Leave that. Steak. Take that. Huh. Alright, well... Ow! Fuck! Oh, fuck! Freaking dog! Actually thought you were gonna get the jump on me! I mean, you did. But, I, I will heal from it. I'm fine. What is it, a horse? What, is there a ghost horse in here? What happened? Loot this. Ammo, take it. Eventually I'll have a gun. Health. I'll actually heal. Huh, what's in here? Steaks. Chat, steaks are unfortunately, I'm not really sure how much I can trust one of these to actually work in combat. I've stabbed things before and I remember it not really instantly killing anything. Use the corners! Use the corners! Alright. There's another one in there. I'm gonna have to take it down. Go! Is there anything else in here? Just health kits. Alright, remember this is here. We might have to come back to this to- Oh shit! This guy's a fucking gun! Give that to me! Alright! Now we're getting somewhere! Got myself a gun. Don't know where that guy came from. Think he snuck up on me. Hiding, he was hiding in this dark corner that I couldn't see because of the darkness. Let's roll. Well, that was convenient. Yeah, you kill one of those guys, you get a free gun. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Come on. I already opened this, my torch is burnt out. Really, these stakes are just best used as torches. Mm -hmm. Anything in here? Hello? Hello? Doctor? Doctor! Hello? <laughs> Stupid fucking dog. Really thought it was gonna get me. Hello? I'm hearing rustling. Doctor? Hang on, let me read this lore. Hang on, guys, I have to jump on the fucking thing to read the lore. Father of the Encyclopedia of the Undead, Part 1. Vampires are creatures of the night and during the day enter a coma-like sleep. Vampires usually possess some unusual supernatural abilities. Vampires avoid garlic, sunlight, sacred symbols such as the crucifix, and holy water, and they may need to and they need to sleep on their native soil. They may be killed by thrusting a stake through their hearts. You tell me that lady vampire is still alive? I have to go back and kill her with the stake after this. Hello? Father? Where's the doctor? Doors keep closing behind me left and right now. More ammo. You just gotta be as conservative with ammo as possible. We don't have the East Tower key, so we're not going that way anytime soon. Come on, Chet. We gotta keep our wits about us. But we did just get more gunpowder for our freaking pistol. Who keeps a jingling those there wind chimes? Uh uh. Ow! Uh uh. Fucking really thought. You fucking really thought. 
portal to hell. Let me reload my gun quick. Y'all mind if I just reload this? Actually, y'all also mind if I just scamper back and heal up with the health kit in here first? I wonder if I could rebind. Damn it, I can't rebind my, uh... Because there's like the quick select for weapons, except all these quick select buttons are really bad for me. Like, one, two is crucifix, four is pistol, seven is fist, which I need on one. I need fist on one right now to really work with it properly. So, uh, yeah, not doing great on that. Welcome to Earth. All right, how do I turn you the fuck off? Get back in there! How many times I gotta teach you this lesson? All right. I don't think they know how to open doors. Hello? I'm hearing some scary sounds. Make me think I'm not alone in this place. And that chandelier shaking something fierce. Where's the fucking doctor? What is this? I need Father Evil's heavenly scroll to open this. Fuck off, man. Doctor! Doctor! Father Evil fell fucking 18 stories down and somehow lived! He needs help! Doctor! Uh oh. Doggy, come on. Someone behind me. Focus up! <laughs> Focus up! I gotta kill another guy with my bare hands! Alright. Oh shit, is that a vampire? You mind if I load up my gun quick? I missed. Alright, well. I'm gonna kill you with my bare hands and I'm gonna shove a stake right through your heart. Let's freaking dance. Come on. Oh, that was pretty easy. Okay, uh, and... Yeah, what the... I thought you'd be stronger. I thought I'd have to use this. Get up. <laughs> Get the fuck up. What are you kidding me? What are you dead? Were you even a vampire? I don't have time for this. The clock's ticking. I need to heal. What are you fucking kidding me? Get up. Wooden stake. Don't get up. All right. This was just a pit stop for me. I feel like she's gonna get up if I come back in here again. Whatever. Oh shit! It's a guy with a scythe. Boom, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam. He's dead. As long as it's all one v ones. All right, my guy is a re he's a boxing champ. I can't open this fucking door. It goes to the garrison. Someone better be taking a note of this whole map down because we don't get a fucking we don't get a handheld map in this game. You have to memorize it. All right, we don't have the key to go up there. We have to go a different way. Which means we're going this way. Oh, shit! Animals and enemies also respawn if you're not in a place for long enough, so, uh... Enjoy that. Enjoy never really having the chance to rest. Things clear in here. This probably goes to another place that I don't have access to. God, I can't believe we haven't found the fucking doctor yet. Isn't that... He's still... He's still alive! Guys, but he's not gonna be for long. Remember, we had 30 minutes to save him. Hello? Well, I'm not going in there if I'm gonna get roared at for it, so. Oh, shit. Hello? I believe that was a shadow demon. Big on! Be gone! Be gone now! They're susceptible to the god power of the crucifix, guys. The dog, however, does not care for God and must be killed with bare hands.
Alright. I only took one hit. They opened all these chests for me. What the hell? Unfortunately, chat, the god does not. The god has no power over the dog. There's a dog right there. I'm trying to save my ammo. Hey. Psst, 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 psst. Can't take any chances. Wow, guys, look, a communal vampire toilet. And there's nothing in any of them. It's useless. Where the fuck is that old? Where the hell is the doctor? That's a garrison as well. Doctor? Oh, shit. Well. That worked really well for me, dude. I just fucking multitasked those two like it was no one's business. See you later. All right, where the hell? Where's the fucking doctor? Doctor! Oh, shit. Flurry of blows. Doctor! Doctor! Uh, uh, uh. Where the fuck is he? This is- it's all random. I can't believe I haven't found the guy. Ooh, ammo. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna reload. Sure hope nothing- is that a dog? This fucking gun sucks so bad. <sighs> Alright, well. Am I being jumped? Oh. <laughs> I do really love- you know what, here's the thing. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Sheath's weapon punches you. Uh, dude, the- The thing that makes this game doable on this difficulty is that every time an enemy shows up, it goes, And it just- so it, it does like a fucking, like, actual stinger sound. It's great. It makes this actually doable. Where the fuck? East Tower. That's not where we need to be. Back, creatures of the abyss! Oh, shit. Back, creatures, and the back again. And how many times do I have to tell you this fucking shit? You can send it. I'm gonna keep walking to the next door. Okay. Don't even come out of the fucking thing. Can't turn this off, so, uh... I'm gonna go in here. And... Today of all days, I gotta send you to hell, huh? Gotta send you back to hell again? Fuck off. Okay. I- dude... I'm really just yearning for, I don't know... A guy to rescue? Hi, doggy. That's a... <laughs> yeah, just stick your head right through there. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, at least we got some health. Alright, healed up. Let's keep moving. Imagine using the sword, guys. Just think about that. Oh, shit! <laughs> Dude, I punched his fucking head before he even came all the way out of the abyss! He, he fucking shoved his head. I gotta like pause to talk about shit, dude. He fucking shoves his head through the goddamn floorboards. I kick his fucking throat. <laughs> Back in there, demon. Hang on, I gotta grab this. Okay, so we have to go. There was another way I could go in the portal room. Whoa. See, that's why I like the sound effect. It warns me that I've aggroed something. It's actually really well done for this game. It's good for conveying that there's a problem, or else it would be really cheap when that shit happens. Hello? Okay. So this goes to Garrison 1, which I don't think I can go into. Thanks for roaring. <laughs> Thanks for- guys, I swear eventually I'll use the guns, because the guns are good. I remember them being good. But, uh... I don't have a gun. That's like decent, so I gotta stick to what I know, guys. And what I know is that my bare hands are doing really well against these like ghouls and chupacabras. I'm getting out of here mostly unscathed. And what pray tell is so. <laughs> Dracula? And what pray tell is so funny? This isn't luck.
Oh, uh, hello? Are you coming from behind? Could have sworn I heard a ghoul after me. Hello? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we got him, guys. The flintlock is more so for things very far away. It doesn't really do a lot of damage. Where is the doctor? Where? Well, hang on, maybe if I yell his name. Dr. Amersfield. Dr. Amersfield. <laughs> Dr. Amersfield, come out. Where are you, Dr. Amersfield? Doctor. 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 I'm gonna have to, if I lose this fucking priest, I'm gonna have to reset. Uh, he, he's part of the win condition for the game. Dr. Amersfield. Are you here? Dr. Amersfield. That might have been a one-shot mechanic. Dr. Amersfield. A key. Wait, this is worth doing then. East Tower. Oh, shit. Demones, be gone now. Be gone. And, uh, and uh, once again, be gone. And get the hell. Get on out of here. Those guys are fucking pathetic. <laughs> I don't I don't know why they act so scary. They're like the weakest shit in the fucking game. All right, I'll see you guys later. Um, guys, I think I overshot the, the doctor by quite a couple of floors. Um, I feel like I missed him by a lot. Um, but I got the key to the East Tower now, so I guess I'll go back down. Guys, I didn't kill a person with a gun, so I don't know. I don't know how that guy dropped that shit. Huh. Hello? Thanks for jumping. Okay. I think I gotta do a lot of backtracking, guys. And I'm getting worried that I might lose the priest. And if I lose the priest, we're fucked. So, um... That's bad. We, uh, we really... Hi. We, we we really are in a lot of trouble. The clock is ticking and the priest wasn't bluffing about having 30 minutes to live. <laughs> like, guys, that wasn't a lie made to, like, make me speed up getting him a doctor to fix his boo-boos. He was being dead serious about how bad it was going to be if he didn't get help. So, uh... East Tower. I think this takes me to a fucking boss room. Guys, I need the doctor still. I don't have time. I gotta go backtrack, guys. We missed the doctor. That could, I think that takes me to a boss. I, <laughs> I think I need to go fix this. I have five minutes left to find this guy. This is bad. Okay. Garrison 2. That's not it. I'm gonna heal off of this. Ow, fuck! My guy did like some crazy, like, rolling, but we're fine now. Five minutes on Namek or five minutes of normal time? Normal time. Not Namek time. Normal, real time. Oh, what the fuck is your deal today? Big on! Big on! Okay, now, dog. I'll take you down myself. Okay. Nothing in here. Doctor's not in here. We keep moving back. There's some horrid droning. But we're gonna ignore it. I cleared that way. There's, he's not in there. I must have actually walked perfectly by him at some point. Whatever. Keep going. Get past the portal before it spawns shit. Keep moving. Go quicker. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, these are slow guys. Oh, shit! But there's a couple of them. I don't see why I need to waste the juice on them, though. To be honest. The doctor's gotta be in here. I looted the spot. 
This takes me back to East Tower. I'm gonna try to skip some enemies. Except for this guy, because he's just not gonna let me. So, go away. Those guys I have to get rid of. They're, they're too fast. Uh, East Tower, we got two shortcuts deeper into this zone with the East Tower key. And somehow I managed to take the exact wrong wing to the guy. Which doesn't make any sense. Because there's nowhere else to go. Uh, how you feeling, father? Oh. Yeah, he's not in there. <laughs> he, he's not in there. Uh, he's not fucking in here. Um, guys, did I miss a hallway? I didn't miss a hallway. He's not fucking in here. I think I gotta go up to East Tower. I think he's gotta be in East Tower. I think I need to go into East Tower. I don't think I have a choice anymore. He's not in there. I have to rush it. I don't have time to freaking dilly dally now. We have to go! Doctor! Fuck. Please save that poor man. I'm fucking trying! Guess I gotta go up to the top. Guess I'm gonna just have to kill, I don't know, the boss of this whole zone. Guess I'm gonna just have to do this right the first time. Elevator could really be going quicker, because I gotta walk the NPC back home, too. Doctor! Psst, 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 psst. <laughs> James, look up, I'm here! A dark-colored, foul beast whose henchman lowered me down to a hole at the top of this tower and left me here to hang. I'm sure it's a trap. Beware, James! Try to find a way to lower me down and rescue you. Have you seen the doctor? If no, then my auntie, I don't really think I have fucking time to care about you. You're gonna fucking miss. Oh cool, a real gun. I mean, I'll take that. What is this, a rifle? What you, dude, honestly? I'm about to die, everything's fucked anyways. But you want me You want me to tell you something that's fucking bad? The crosshair in this fucking game. Okay, well, here's one thing I know. Doctor's not up here. Okay, I really don't have fucking time to hang around. I'll see you later, auntie. I'm gonna take the bouncy elevator back down. I only have 20 HP because of those guys. Uh, unfortunately, I don't, I'm not going any farther up until I find healing and find my uh, doctor. Pretty sure the doctor can actually spawn up there, Tomato. But he didn't know, because he's gonna have spawned in a room I... This is the 11th hour? It doesn't say the priest is dead. I repeat, guys. He, uh, guys, the dog, he could only be up here. Wait. Oh. I was like, where the fuck is the elevator? Did they call it up? Yeah, I think I'm gonna die the second I'm up there, though. I don't think I have the fucking HP to live through this. Like, if I get shot by one guy, it's over. Unfortunately, I think if I go back to try to find healing, I'm gonna die. Look, we got a bad- we got a bad seed as far as, like, um, the guy spawning is concerned. The doctor. Which fucks up a lot of other stuff for us. This might just be a wash of a seed. We might just need to accept that Aunt Sophie is fucking dead in this. And I'm- <laughs> Stop fucking crying, Auntie. You're gonna be fine. I only abandoned you for a second. Auntie, do you have eyes on the guy up there? There's a dude trying to shoot me. <laughs> but I don't have fucking eyes on him, Auntie. Auntie, where the fuck is this guy? See him now. 
<laughs> oh, I got eyes. <laughs> He's down. Thank God. And that's the last one. All right, Auntie. Uh, I guess I gotta go kill myself now. But hey, you'll be fine. I want to be very clear, chat. The one thing I'm not going to count on these uh, hardcore runs is parkour killing me because my guy literally bounces five feet in the air when he walks over a chest. Um, the mobility is not ideal. There are certain things that we're not going to count. Ah! Ow! <laughs> no! No! Fuck! Ah! Father of hell! <laughs> Father, it was bad RNG! Fuck! Dude, here's the problem. I'm pretty sure that means I get locked out of any of the special doors he could have opened, too. So it's like... <laughs> it's fucked. Reset? It is a reset event. Sorry, Aunt Sophie. It's a reset event. You understand. Oh, sorry. I forgot to reload my gun. Sorry, Aunt Sophie. Aunt Sophie, stop spinning around. You made me actually fucking miss. What the? I'm sorry. Um, God? What the fuck? She's very powerful. All right, well, hey, maybe I can punch the shit out of the boss in one go. Might as well go see what we're dealing with. Might as well go up top and see what I'm dealing with with my over health. All right, where the fuck are you, pussy? Oh my god, it's some guy! Oh shit! Guys, bad news! He's immune to punches! <laughs> ah! Wait! Wait! Ow! Fuck! Ah. He like stun locked me. I can't even pull out the uh, the, the spike. Damn, man. Now you know how it feels. Quiet. All right, we got to focus up, guys. I don't know why I'm grabbing the sword. That's actually a debuff for my character. I'm going to reset. Ah! Having it on my hotbar as something I can scroll to is actually a debuff for my character. So we're gonna reset that. We're not gonna open the box this time. We're gonna catch Father of Ill, which uh, saves us a bunch of time. Now I'm gonna slowly move out of the way. Please bring Doctor Amersfield. Shut the fuck up, old man. Don't know why I'm even checking this box because I know there's not gonna be any loot over here. Oh, oh. I gotta find the key. We have to find the key. Now, I'm pretty sure that the, that's the room with the multiple guys with sides. These side rooms are always the same. However, the loot can spawn anywhere for the key. Not in here. I, the, the rooms with frights are the ones I want to check last. Let me go grab the stakes. Quickly. So yeah, the other thing is that in this game, when you rescue someone, their box opens and all of their boxes have special like uh, things in them. For your run, um, which is why losing Father of Ill is bad. Losing these people is bad. You don't want to lose someone. Stakes. Um, I didn't check under there yet. Did I, or did I like actually zone that out and forget? I did not. No key in here. Okay, I'm gonna bank on the key not being in the crypt. Which means it's probably in one of the two side rooms, which is actually pretty bad. Health kit over there. Can there be something in this corner? No. Can you win with everyone alive? Yeah, you can. It's hard. This game is not easy. 
you kind of have to know what you kind of have to play through the game once to even understand how to do it properly because there's a level of like genuine roguelike-esque understanding of the game mechanics in order to do it quickly all right there's east wing key let's go we don't need to do that side room that was a waste of time last time because like you have to you have to um everything has to be kind of compressed you need to make decisions quickly Hi, doggy. Okay, bye, doggy. Man, I can't believe Father Avil didn't get eaten alive by that dog. Man, oh man. You lucky, Father Avil. A dog could have eaten you. All right, goodbye. East Wing again. Let's do this by the books this time. You must have mistaken me for someone weak and pathetic. You know, I cleared this place once already. I'm incredibly powerful. I have to quick save more. My character keeps getting stuck on the like the planks and shit. And if that fucking kills me at some point, that's gonna be a reload. All right. I don't know if you guys have seen how slow I'm climbing up. Look at this. This is me holding W. Sometimes my guy just can't move down slopes. I don't want to die to some cheesy bullshit because my character got stuck. Ghoul comes out of this floor right here. Never mind. Well, um... Whoa! Can you, you guys think I can, like, actually... Dude, I kind of feel like I could glitch through the map in this game. When I sprint hard enough, I can get into some crazy spots in this game. Check this out. Hey, you guys want to see me ramp off this chest? Y'all want to see me ramp off this chest into that corner? There's got to be invisible walls I can use, guys. Oh, well. Let's keep moving. Hello? Hello? Weird music like that doesn't play unless there's something wrong. Don't need health? Do not need health. Oh, fuck! It's a ghoul. Okay, there's probably someone in here. Just still not really sure what the spooky horse sound is about in this room. Uh, Emily Kingstone, do you guys see this fucking RNG bullshit? Emily Kingstone, the vampire succubus has captured Greg and is going to sacrifice him at the top of the raised east clock tower. You must rescue him. Ha have you found Dr. Amosfield, Aunt Sophie, and Uncle Andrew and brought them safely? Brought them to safety yet? You must succeed or they'll be slain. Uncle Andrew and I have a revolver in our trunk at the main entrance. Take me there and I'll give it to you. Hurry! See what I mean? Oh shit! Bird dog! I saved your life. Come on. Let's move. Just stick with me. All right, everything's gonna be fine. And you swear to God you'll give me your gun when I get back to the freaking courtyard, right? Cause I'm gonna need that. Excuse, excuse me, don't fucking glitch into me. <laughs> don't fucking. Oh. If you're sure about this, I'll stick around here until you're back. No, come with me. What do you mean, are you sure about this? Come with me now. Come with me. What? Controls? How do I order them to come with me? What do you mean? I'll wait here. No, come with me. I pressed E and nothing happened. There we go. She she was just confused. She had that old person like dementia or something. She had a she's fine now. Everything's fine. Come with me. Let's get you through this fucking place. Chat, they can die on the way too. Uh, so I'm gonna honor rule it. If they die as a result of me taking them back a dangerous way, we're not gonna reload it. Um, hey, father. So I didn't find the doctor, but you know, just step over him. Uh, come with me. You can give me a gun. Uh, right now. Right in here, ma'am. Oh, Very good. Lost. Now, where the hell's that gun? All right. About damn time I got some real firepower. Is this thing loaded? <laughs> All right, epic. Good to know. So I can't believe I can't actually kill her. She's fucking immune. 
She's already saved. Yeah, I know. Well, hey, having a gun is great. Having a real gun? Did I just... Chat, I learned an important thing today. This game has wasted bullet reloads. Ahead of its time, guys. Ahead of its time. Press R in this game, you eject all of your ammo. Okay. And it's a five round revolver. That's why I was like checking. It's a five round. All right, back in. Hi, father. Yeah, I'm gonna save you any fucking minute now. Shh, shh, shh. It's gonna be okay. Only their bodies are hitboxes, guys. Only their bodies. I'm finding out now their heads are not hitboxes in this game. All right, come on. Doctor! Doctor, please spawn with good RNG, please! Oh. I'm putting this- I'm putting my pistol away then, guys. Please, Doctor! Peekaboo! Oh, nothing again. Keep on thinking like a ghoul's gonna jump out, but nothing ever does. Ooh, more bullet ammo. See, it's all RNG. Everything you see before you is RNG. All the way down to the spooky lantern. Doctor? Doctor! Nothing but health kits in the corner. Stairwell up. We don't want to go up any stairs. Hi, doggies. Ah! Ah! For some reason, the dog was like going around my hitbox, but it's okay. There's been plenty of healing around. We'll be fine. Trying to still save ammo because obviously, uh, bullets are gonna be mainly used for bosses. Oh shit. <laughs> Bullets are a boss tool. Um, 85, we'll keep moving. Hello? He could, they could be anywhere in these hallways, I think, as well, so it's worth me checking these out, too. Man, you fucking weird piece of shit. Get the fuck out of here. I need to get the shadow guy, not the ghoul. Okay, he's gone. Fish out to take Ghoul down while he's stunned. The crucifix isn't reliable enough for me to use it to stun the ghouls, unfortunately. Oh shit! Get out of here. Ammo for the revolve. You know, I was probably sitting on a boatload of ammo for this thing by the boss fight if I had it. Do you guys see what I mean? Like, this game was- this game was fucking ahead of its time. And like, I don't know many people that have ever even played it. <sighs> the first mill sim. True! So the only way to go is up. If the doctor is in some bullshit spot again, and this old priest dies in 20 fucking minutes, the guy's got a fucking clock out. He's laid down, sprawled out with all of his fucking bones broken, four stories down from the window he was freaking hucked out of. He's got a clock out, and he's like, I fucking told him. I told him in 20 minutes, and that'd be it. That'd be it for me. I fucking swore to him. <laughs> Let's just keep moving. Let's try to stay positive. Okay, well, this is the abyss portal. Do I just keep fighting until it stops making them? Like, I can fight right through this thing until they're all gone. I just don't remember how to turn it off. Father Am- Dr. Amersfield! Have you found Aunt Emily? Aunt Sophie, shut the fuck up, you old bag! Holy shit! 
I died in a past life and couldn't find you, all right? The father needs help. He got thrown 60 stories down. We got to get to him. He needs doctor's help. He, you got to fix him. I've got all my medical equipment in my trunk at the main entrance. Take me there and I'll be able to tend to your wounds. Hurry. Sounds good, doctor. Let's just fucking go right away. Where the fuck are you? What? Oh shit, he's being attacked! Doctor! No! Fuck! Reset, guys. <laughs> Reset, guys. He spawned in the longest hallway ever next to every enemy. Shut the fuck up, Father Avil. No one gives a shit. That way's always bad. The, I don't think the frickin' key can spawn in either of these two rooms. Oh. oh. Nothing. Ammo. God fucking damn it. It was a good run, too. If I just had the gun ready, I could have killed them. But I didn't realize it, they were gonna get- he was gonna get attacked. I thought he was closer to me. I, I wasn't even thinking. God damn it! Mistakes that won't be made again. I'll tell you that right now. Hang on, I gotta check up here. These two spots can have spawns. Thank God, I don't think one thing can spawn- Okay, that's a health kit. I don't think anything can spawn in, um... The crypt zone, over there. Health kit, health kit. Okay. We don't need to aggro that dog. Check under there. If there's nothing, then we have to try the, uh, two bad rooms. That's bullshit. I think this game's fucking fun. And honestly, doing this with, like, a permadeath run is kind of fucking rad. Unfortunately, not getting the doctor is a reset because he's the only way you can reliably full heal back at the hub. He's- he is an actual, like, th the father? Not so important. The doctor dying? Actual fucked. Like, I don't know how I'd be able to get through it. Because he heals you at the base. He's the Terraria nurse. Yeah. Um, hang on. Key's over there. All right. We don't have to act. We don't have to actually fight the vampire, but we have to get rid of the ghoul. We can go around this and just grab the key. Health. Health. Grab the key and leave them alone because they don't actually get out of the uh, crypt in time to aggro me. All right, let's roll. No doctor run. I act, I can't admit. You guys have seen how much damage some of these enemies do to me. Just trying to make sure there's nothing spawned in here. The vampire down there is fine. Something could attack the father and kill him, so. I'm gonna have to wait to make sure. Hiding behind the corner, huh? Think you're gonna fool me? You know how many lives I've lived in this hallway? Okay, if we get lucky, someone will spawn in the blacksmith room again. Because that's free. Health. Don't need it. And once I get the- once I get them doctor back, I can be a little bit more greedy with health kits. I should light a torch so I can actually see in these places. There we go. Oh yeah, the spooky horse always happens. Scythe man and dog. Get the scythe guy first. Skip the dog. All right, that worked out. Uh, no one in here though. Yeah, the scythe guy does like 50 damage. Oh fucking Christ! Dark guy spawned in the corner. Kill him! Kill him! Okay, free flintlock. Uh, hey man. Um. Every room you go into has a chance to spawn something in the room you were just in. But it's okay. We're fine. Now, if only... If only... We could find the people we're looking for in convenient zones. So far, this is a bad run. I don't want to curse it yet. But, um, so far this one is not feeling like the one, it's feeling like the worst one. Like, just a real piece of shit run. But we have 13 flintlock ammo, I mean, I'm not gonna complain about the amount of bullets I'm being given. 
portal room actually first thing. Cool. Cool. We'll just start going. No, I actually think it's better just to wait here until they all come out. Because I think it's like four and then it stops. At least then I can get them before they jump on me. Was it four? Guy! Stop! In 25 minutes, I'm gonna fucking die, says the father to himself. We're running out of time. Yeah, there was some spooky music playing for just about a half a second. Uh, don't go up the stairs yet. Check this side. Two sets of stairs. Um, sometimes a cruiser, sometimes a shadow guy spawns in here. Yep, there he is. Problem is, if it's just the ghouls attacking me, this doesn't work on them. This is just a bad setup. Yeah, this one's bad. This is a fuck scene. All right, this one's bad. We're gonna reset again. Yeah, it's about the worst possible spacing for it. I probably should have ran farther. Or maybe used the gun for that. But, uh... We're hoping for an early... Wait, guys! If the father never falls from the... Never mind. Maybe I should check the spots where the key can spawn that aren't near him first so I don't burn, like, a minute in case stuff's really bad on the RNG. Maybe that's, like, a trick I should do. Do whatever I can that keeps him from spawning right away. I don't know if he just spawns automatically, or if he dies automatically at 11. Or not. Groundhog Day levels of dark comedy. I don't have time for him, guys. Where's the fucking key? I just don't have fucking time. No, okay, so it's in one of the side rooms. Let's go. God, I wish I didn't have the asthma. Father, no. Oh, James. Shut the fuck up, old man. I can't take it much All right, the green light means it might actually be in one of the chests down here. Okay, green light means it's down here. Okay, I should have followed his green light. Okay, so if there's no green light down either of these staircases, we don't check these rooms anymore. Check for uh, ammo. Nope. Alright, let's go. We ignore the vampire lady. Let's roll. Wait, this is Groundhog Day. Holy shit. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty similar. Nothing. Alright. Oh, is something. Guy above me jumped right in front of me. Got him. Let's roll. Floor enemy? No. Nothing. Nothing. All right. Give me that steak. There's certain weapon types I just don't really trust. Like, I don't really trust a stake to do much damage to anything. I know it's like made to kill the vampires. I don't really fucking buy it. You know? Does that automatically, no, it doesn't automatically spawn anything. No one in here. Let's see if I get a spawn of an enemy over here. Just another dog. I mean, I'm getting better at certain- Guys, I'm starting to, like, figure out the early game tech and cycle. Um, I'm- I'm getting there. You guys think I can, like, glitch into the ceiling from here? Damn it. I wonder if there's any, like, shortcuts I could do. Using, like, the jump- Using the chest as jump pads. Problem is, I think my guy would break his legs at a certain point. Yeah, I know I can stake a vampire before they rise out of their coffins, but I can also punch those vampires to fucking death and own them every single time. And there's really not much they can do to stop me. In one-on-ones, my guy is unstoppable. He really can't be defeated. In a one-on-one. -on -one. Two-on-ones, all of a sudden I crumble. Problem is, this is another bad setup, guys. No, no people spawned in the early rooms. And now we're getting close to like the part where we start getting those horrible portals again and shit. Is 
in my best interest to actually just walk as close to the exit as I can and let them come after me, I think. All right. No one. Except for this scythe man. I don't get a free scythe, though. All right, these uh, staircases are pretty easy to clear. Let's go. Hi, doggy. That was the most painful dog my guy has ever met in his life. He fucking blacked out from that bike. Jesus. 76. That doesn't fill me with a lot of hope. Hang on, I'm gonna light a torch. All right, this was a dead end staircase. All right, guys. Got a good feeling about this one. I just need to, just gotta get a little lucky. Staircase has nothing. There is a shadow man. And the dog is chasing after me as well. Got him. Okay, I, it's, I, it's just I have to be really aggressive on the shadow guy, which means I have to ignore other ads entirely. But we got him. I can hear whispering, like ghoulish whispering as well. But there's nothing else in here. Still no gun. All I can hope is that whichever gun guy I bump into is easily dispatched by me or I find him dead hello hello hi okay bye hello hi okay bye Hello. Okay, bye. Is there anyone from my family alive in this fucking place? Oh, shit! Chill! Chill! They're coming into the fucking windows! Dude, I- where is everyone? I keep- dude, my RNG, man. I think I see a guy over there. I can't tell if that's a friendly guy or an evil man. Friend? Oh, Dr. Amersfield, thank fucking God. All right, come with me now. Follow me now. We're leaving. Jesus. Guys, we got him. He runs like a fucking idiot. Look at him. He runs with like his head, his head like getting flopped back. Hold his hand. No, he'll be fine as long as he doesn't like fall down the fucking stairs. I don't think he will. Look, I just want to straight line it back, drop him off so we can save the other guy as well. This guy's a twofer if we get him back early enough, so it's worth doing it. And I can open up those accursed sections. Come on, father. Or doctor. I don't know, I get you guys all confused. Okay, no ghouls came out. Good. Come on. My torch is burnt out. I don't care. Come on. Actually, yes, I do. I don't want some guy to sneak up on me. These stakes hold more value to me as torches than they do as a way to kill uh, zombies or vampires. All right. We're here. Come on, doctor. Step over that guy. May the Lord have mercy on your soul, James. You found Dr. Amosfield in time. He can tend to my shattered bones. I've shielded the entrance to the vampire's crypt below the east wing with the aid of God. Locate my heavenly scroll to dispel the magical aura that seals the entrance to the crypt. I've locked up the scroll and chest that was taken to me by the vampire, by the vampiric succubus that captured Gregory. Okay, that was a lot of bullshit you gave me, old man. Um, I'm gonna choose to ignore most of that for now. In here. Thanks for rescuing me, James. Now hurry. 
Go and find the others before we run out of time. Don't Come fucking tell me what to do. Wounded, and I'll help you with the wounds. Yeah, Here's a little fix me. For that wound. Thank you. All right, see you later, doctor. Finally, dude. All right, we got infinite healing as long as we go back. You're just gonna stand here. You're gonna end up getting fucking killed. I'm just gonna. No, I'm just gonna push you. No, you know I, I'm actually not gonna do anything with him. He's gonna end up finding a way to kill himself if I do pretty much anything. Time to go back. All right, guys. Oh fuck! Wait, I'm just gonna ignore these. Hi. A slow zombies. That'll be a future me's problem while I'm escorting someone back over here. Yeah. Up the stairs. Let's go back where we were. It's time to get fucking moving. What's the time limit for the whole game? Done. Done. All right. Back where we were. We're clear. There's a chest. I still don't have a gun of any variety, which sucks. I wish the overheal lasted longer. It's already gone. Free ammo. More gunpowder bullets. Hello? Family! Sophia! Where's Sophia? Sophia? That's one of the people I'm looking for, right? No? Oh, Sophie. Aunt Sophie! Ah, shit. Shadow demons. Get down from there! Get down from- Okay. Bullets. Got it. Trash. I can see your fucking toes. Oh, you're already dead. Bro. Di dude died waiting for me to get up here to kill him. Died of boredom. Hello? Oh shit, you aggroed a little early. <laughs> okay, bye. Aggro, this dude ran down like two full flights of stairs to kill me, dude. Hi, dog. <laughs> and where? Where the fuck is Sophie? I need a gun. I can't fight that boss without a real gun. The revolver would set me up good. That shit me up good. I would feel pretty good about having a gun like that sitting around. The key. Is it to the tower? Oh yeah, I forgot the key always spawns up here and then these three guys always pointlessly show up so they can die. Come here! Come here! Come here! Stop jumping like that! Come here! Alright, well, we got East Tower Key. Let's go. Wah! I do the fucking, like, I do the jump over his fucking head, land on the other side, and take him down. Alright, let's go. All right, well, didn't find Sophia, which means no gun. And I tragically don't own a second gun. Uh, like a flintlock or anything. Doggy, get the fuck out of here. These all go to the garrison, so I can't open them yet. Um, the East Tower key will give us a shortcut. 
Can't remember if there's another section I should have done. Sophia might be in there. Um, climbing the tower is gonna fucking suck without something. Still got one more hallway to check right here. Can't remember which one of these sides I came in from. Uh, I don't think it was the side with the shadow demon, so, uh, probably this one. Who the fuck is that? Oh, it's a dog. All right, we got him, guys. Come on. Jump the health kit. We don't need it yet. Sophia! Psst, 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 psst. Hello. The dog's stuck. That's actually really good. But I can't really... I Dude, I can't really fight him like this. Someone's got to get dislodged. I, I don't want to do it like this. I'm going to get caught. Whatever. It worked out okay. Whatever. It's fine. Stakes. Sophia? No. Where the fuck is this? What the fuck? Where the fuck is this entire family? They got seriously fooled into going wildly deep into the vampire's crypt, and now I gotta peel them out of it. Well, that's East Tower opened, gunless. Dude, he's doing a fucking gunless hardcore run. I can't, I literally cannot beat the boss without a real gun. Is that a shadow demon coming up here? Fuck off. Fuck off. You can't be serious that I never found any of them. You cannot be serious. How does this keep happening to me? We did a full fucking loop. Guys, I have to go kill oh, the- James, please get me out of this unholy bastion. What the fuck are you doing back here, you old bag? Why are you here? Get out of the fucking way! Did you follow me in because you don't know the way to the freaking, like, safe zone that you made? You stupid fuck. Come with me. Come with me now. Come with me now. James, thank goodness you're here. I got lost on the way to the courtyard that I put all these crucifixes on. I had to pray to, uh, ow! I had to pray to God super hard to be saved this time. Oh, give me that, what's in there? Don't leave me here amongst the damned. God bless you for bringing me here, James. But don't leave your family in the claws of the devil. Hurry up and save them. Ancient chalice with holy water. Thank God. Guys? Guys, we just unlocked holy water. Now... We can now splish splash this on whomever we want once we pray hard enough here at the God Pool. I filled up the holy water chalice, and now... Hang on, I just unfilled half the chalice, because I don't know what's... Good news is, guys, there is unlimited water in the chalice. Alright. Five splashes. Guys, now here's the problem. I'm gonna do a quick save. Um, there's something I need to test, and I don't really want to lose my run to do it. I want to see if this works on normal peasant freaks. For instance, these guys down here. If it does, great. If it doesn't, I'm going to reload. I'd like to test that. Hello, peasant freaks, because I need their gun. It doesn't. No, dude. I didn't want to jump him. But this is actually going really well for me. Uh, okay, I mean, I can live with this. Dude, I got rid of one. And that guy's still shooting. If I time this right, I can get him between shots. No. Gotcha, motherfucker! And you're next! 
die! Cleared. All right, cool. We got a gun. Doggy. We can't get him out of here. Look. How, how many fucking bullets with the flintlock do I have? Guys, I'm really worried I don't have the firepower to kill a boss. I don't think I do. But we never found Sophia. And uh, I'm out of places she could be. So, um... Looks like we're gunning it. <laughs> looks like, uh... Looks like we're gonna have to gun it. At least I have some splashes of holy water. That could protect me. For a little. You know? Can they spawn at the crypt? I don't believe anyone can spawn at the crypt. The crypt is like a side zone. Look, the problem is, I didn't get eyes on what else attacked me last time. Um, there's the boss, but then there's also like some bats or something that he has spawned. And that's the problem is that they shredded me. It was, I was getting stun locked by something. I couldn't see it. All right, so that's just carefully because there's going to be a bunch of ads out here that are trying to shoot me. <laughs> Hi, Aunt Sophie. I gotta be really careful. These guys are actually full on immune to my bullets from here. That's bad. I'm not sure how I'm gonna fucking get this shot off then. I don't think I have the range. Fuck. Don't fucking shoot! Dude! All right, guys, we need the revolver to do the first part. We need a revolver. We need to accept that we're going to get hit for 60% of our fucking HP. We have to find Sophia in the first zone. We don't have a fucking choice. We don't have a choice. We get slowed down going up those stairs. We get slowed down going up the stairs. We're going to have to game her hard. Fuck. Dude, once the ball gets rolling, we'll be fine. We just have to get past the fucking- We just have to get the ball rolling. Okay, keys down here, let's go. Fuck off, ghoul! Fuck off, ghoul! The key's not in here. Girl, I actually just punched her out in one fucking hit. The key's not even in here. But it was green. Don't get up. All right. Don't get up. Guess green doesn't actually mean it's down here. Father, no. Thanks for the fucking useless directions. It didn't even work. Thanks for the useless fucking directions, old man. Dude, I just can't believe- mm. Dude, if I do this right early, I get a gun right away. Just have to do exactly what I just did. And get just this guy through the doorway. And then I can bum rush the other guy with the gun. As long as he doesn't turn the corner, we get it for free. Come on. Come on. Come on. A little closer. All right. Die! Die! Oh, it's 50% fucking damage when they hit you, these fucking weapon guys. We got them. Okay, it's worth it for the gun because we will heal all the way collecting all the stuff in these boxes. Which will... All the stuff in this zone is redundant once we get the doctor. So, there's that. Alright, let's go. Let's 
Find the fucking key, get this done right this time. Fuck. Alright, key probably spawned over there or in the two back zones. Then. Ammo. Or revolver I tragically don't have. God, I can't believe I threw out the god run. That one time, because I didn't fucking realize that the doctor spawned next to 18 enemies. What a fuck up. I blew it, guys. I blew it. Whatever. It's time for sure. I can believe it? What do you mean? Same. Guys, can I have support and positivity today? Guys, would you guys mind providing me with some... Support and positivity or else Or else, okay Die freak come on guys everyone join me in prayer that someone spawns in the blacksmith room It is a low odds chance But it is always possible that we will maybe get Sophia, or Sophie, whatever the fuck the name is, in the blacksmith room, which is, of course, a huge RNG win, which will change the entire course of the playthrough. Oh, God, please uh, provide us with this bounty. Okay, that's just a shadow beast. Uh... It's fucking really choice work. And a dog that doesn't respect God. And there's a second shadow beast. It was straight up infested by them. Well, that was useless. Fuck. Shit. At least we're getting lots of ammo for the revolver if we find Sophia. Okay, well... Alright, let's roll. This time, for real. We're gonna get a little bit faster now, now that we know what's going on. And arise, Sophie! Fuck. I thought if I channeled them, they'd show up. I thought I could force them to exist through, like, yelling at them to arise. But I don't think it's that easy, guys. I'll grab that ammo, but it's pretty much useless to me. I'll grab it on my way around. Ah, fuck off. Get back in the portal. Get back in the fucking portal. How many times I gotta teach you this lesson? Get back in the portal. Pathetic. Double portal. Alright, in that case, uh, first of all, let me just... Chill. Chill the fuck out. You can... Maybe I can break this. I'm gonna try it again. Hang on. Maybe I pray it... Maybe I pray it away? Jesus! A little help? No, that's not it. Maybe I shoot it away. That looked like it hurt it. Hang on. Oh, cool. We just shoot it away. Guys, in fact, this is not, this is not something, this is not a battle for Jesus. This is a battle for, um, cold hard lead. The problem is I'm not rewarded for killing it. And I actually spend a lot of bullets doing it. So, um, it's not, it's not really paying off. All right, well. Lock and load. Hang on, this is a good chance for me to ch check the effective range of this gun. It works there. Does it work from here? Okay, it wasn't working from through the door. The gun's got like a fucking range to it. I don't want to go up any stairs yet. Dang dogs. I'm 
actually like running out of this might be the worst run yet this could be chat the worst run so far uh, i'm bloodied haven't seen anyone i'm getting owned I, I honestly the only way to really bring this back now is if sophie were to show up and uh, carry us to the end with a revolver but that's just a demon of shadow Is there something else in there, or, uh... Oh! It looks like I'm punching bravely, but I'm actually flailing wildly. There's a vast difference. It's actually a wild flail kind of combat. That thing's not gonna get up anytime soon. I punched it real hard till it died. What do you think, I'm fucking dumb? 17 HP in a dream, guys. I'm not dead yet. Where is Sophie? Gotta get the drop on him. You know how it is. Just gotta get the drop on him. There's a health kit right there. Well, don't mind if I do. Everyone spawns 8,000 miles away, guys. What the fuck? Didn't spawn this time. You think that's what happened? Oh my god. I'm starting to get worried. Now you're starting to worry me. I'm starting to get worried about it, guys. The, guys, mathematically, the odds of Sophie and the doctor spawning at the deepest inner sanctum of the East Wing is pretty low. There's someone over there. And because I haven't activated them, the ant is lunging towards me from across the- This guy's got a gun, he's got a gun, he's got a gun, I gotta get the fuck out of here. He's gonna shoot again? Shoot again. They don't even die from one shot. That's the fucking problem with them. Freak. Whatever. We got the doctor. That's good. Now, can we get a twofer and also get Sophie? The gun is bad. Yeah, the flintlock is fucking trash. Oh. Thank God you're here, James. Shut the fuck up. Out of here, James. You know what? I actually think it's bullshit. I got so I got something I want to say. When I saved him that time, I had to be basically on top of the fucking old man for him to like talk to me and activate so NPCs would attack him. But when I got here during the God Run, he he activated on me from when I walked in the door on the far side. And how was that for? Someone want to explain that to me? R riddle me that, dude. Come with me. Good. Ah, uh, shit. I'm not really sure where the hell Sophie is. At. Shut the fuck up! How about you heal me? Fucking piece of shit, I get shot like that again, it's over, doctor! Fuck! That is, that is, now that's the bad RNG. Is if I turn a corner and some dude blows my brains out with a fucking flintlock. I have no protection. Where the fuck is he? Every room I walk into is a room where an ad can spawn. Come with me! Get us out of here, James! Fuck you, old bag! Come with me now. Just block the bullet. True. He's my full heal. He's my... He can save the run. Look at how he seizes up and then closes the fucking door on me. With me! Just parry it. Parry the bullet. When you're right, you're right.
Come on. Come on. Sooner we get out of here, sooner you can fill my health back up to 100. Come on. <coughs> my guys. Oh, you're coughing. Oh, you don't feel good. Oh, well, sorry. Good thing I got rid of these portals. One last thing to attack us. Come with me. Where the fuck are you? You idiot. He's doing like fucking parkour. He's running around like a player in like CSGO, dude. What the fuck is this? Come with me now, old man. Dude. Where is that guy? I saw an enemy. Come on. Almost out. He's be hopping. All right. We're out. Come on. Oh, James, please get me out of this unholy bastion. Yeah, you two idiots, come with me. Both of you. And make it snappy. I don't want to get bit by a dog. Thanks for rescuing me, James. Now hurry. Go and find the others before we run out of time. Look at how slow come this idiot is. Come back here if you're wounded, and I'll help you with the wound. Yeah, thank Here's you. a little something for that wound. Park yourself! What are you doing? Where is your box? Bless you for bringing me here, James. Give me this. But Fuck you. Your family in the claws Sorry, I'm only getting agitated because this guy is walking like slow like molasses. Like molasses. Okay. He walked, he fell like four floors. Yeah, but then a doctor fixed him to full health. You wanna know how I know he, that's possible? Cause the doctor did it to me after I got shot 15 times in the face at point blank with a frickin' flintlock pistol. All right, he's a fucking miracle worker. I know this already has some juice in it, but I wanna make sure it's fully charged. Nine frickin' splashes of the stuff, not bad. Now, here's the problem. I don't have a frame of reference for how well it works against anything in the fucking game. So, uh, I'm gonna keep it out. I'd like to splash it on something and see if it hurts them badly and makes them cry and go, wee. But if a dog comes after me. All right, well that thing, that killed that zombie pretty much instantaneously upon touching it. So I would argue that's pretty good. I mean, even my freaking crucifix can't do that. Look at the zombie fucking ignored that. Not bad. You think I'm stupid? You dead this time? All right. I would cry if someone splashed water on me. Dude. Is that because you're afraid of taking baths and showers, man? Are you afraid of some water? You afraid of some water, man? You got the rabies? You got those rabid tendencies? I really don't know. I, I need an I need an NPC to spawn in one of these like corridor zones. So I can confirm that it's possible. It's deceptive, but the crucifix actually tar like targets what you're aiming at and it only hits that target. But you can, uh, you can pray the demons away with it. You just have to be really careful. Gunpowder and bullets. How many fucking bullets am I working with? 11. As of now, since I quietest dog I ever saw in my life. I don't even think people can spawn in these tunnels, guys. Fuck. Hang on, I'm lighting a torch. I can barely see. That goes to Garrison. Yep. So there's one person that can be in a tunnel here in the tube. Guys, this is another Sophia-less run, which means here's how we deal with the guys with the guns. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to kill one of them. And if they shot me a single time, I have to go all the way back to the fucking healer every single time because I don't have a long range gun until I kill one. So I gotta, I gotta kill one with the flintlock. If 
by using like blind sides. And then I gotta fucking run all the way back, heal full, and then I can try to take them down with the with the long range gun that they drop. And then the and then the boss can kill me in like two seconds once I get to him, because I won't have the revolver because Sophia has decided to hide in some obscure, insane place. Who's Sophia? I don't know. Aunt Sophie. Sorry, Aunt Sophie, who is, of course. In possession of the key to save Buster, the dog, who is the only one I care about saving, but like, man, she's lost somewhere really complicated and convoluted, and I'll tell you what, she is making this a real piece of shit to go find her, guys. This is a fucking mess. She is, she is hiding, she must have like sealed herself in the walls somewhere. Like actually brick and mortar sealed herself in. At least I'm getting pretty good at predicting what enemies are going to be behind certain doors. Alright. Sophia! Fuck off! Not you! Not you, Sophie! Not you! Uh... Okay, that guy's aggro is from a million miles away, so I can just keep walking in. I met you halfway! Because I respect all of your hard work. Oh! 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 It's true, it's real! It's real! All I gotta do is fucking kill this shadow demon! Get the fuck off him! Don't do it him! I'm glad you get the fuck out of the way! Shut the fuck up, old bag! Oh shit! Ow! Fuck! No! No! Stop talking! Atrocities! Everything's fine. Uncle. We're still under attack. How can I make him wait here? I actually need him to wait here for a second. Wait, I have the holy water! But if a dog shows up, it won't be that much help. I want to get the key from up here. What the fuck was the point of this all? It's a long fucking trip back. Got a boatload of holy water. Be cool. Okay. That's... That is... Alright. I thought he was... Uncle, if you're sure about wait there. Yeah, you wait. You wait, agent, you wait so. fucking here, okay? I gotta deal with um, some ghosts. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! All right, we got him, guys. Let's bring this uncle back, and maybe he'll give me something fucking decent. You go first, old chap, and I'll watch your back. Yeah, thanks, uncle. Who the hell is this guy again? Uh, this is the Kingstones. This is some Kingstone. Man. Yo, old man, you see Sophie anywhere? You see Aunt Sophie? I need her to free her dog, Buster. Where the fuck are you? Okay, come on. Psst, 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 psst. Come on. We got the key, so I'm gonna open the shortcut and take you down the safe way, okay? Come on. Forget DPS, how many ghost exorcisms per second can you do? My guy doesn't even need to know the names of the creatures he's exercising. Oh, someone thinks that's fucking funny. Alright, laugh it up. Alright, it's true. He doesn't even need to know the names. He just points his crucifix at something and bursts into fucking flames. Stand back, Mr. Kingstone. I got this. Hang on, do you make sounds if I punch you? What the? You make the sounds of an evil man. Uh, I'm gonna reload. Uh, Dude. The NPCs make the same sound as you. Okay. Well. Take the stairwell down. Mr. Kingstone! Mr. Kingstone!
You go first, old chap, and I'll watch your back. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. All right, thanks for coming all this way to die. Oh, fuck! What the shit? Okay, never mind. He's weird, guys. He's always... Mr. Kingstone always been a bit strange. A little bit of a weirdo, that guy. Chill. All I gotta do is point a crucifix at them and they blow up. See? Come on. Come on, Mr. Kingstone! Don't you want us get back to your freaking like luggage? <laughs> Come on. Barely get down these stairs. Come on. You I'll heal the full off of this, so it's really good for me. He gets every door slammed on his face. Every single door has- And sometimes he makes that fucking sound. I don't know what the hell that means. Is there a hole up there? Oh yeah, that's the way you leave once you've done the boss fight. I remember now. I remember now. Mm-hmm. Come on, Mr. Kingstone. Come on, Mr. Kingstone. I keep on worrying I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna see him just flop off of a ledge. And that'll be it. Hey guys, look, I found Mr. Kingstone. Good work, old chap. Now hurry up. Make sure that the rest of the family is rescued. I'll stay here and watch your back. Thank fucking God. So he gives me the revolver because he was the third guy to be saved. Doesn't matter if it's Sophie. Someone gives me a revolver every time. Which means I've now got 29 bullets for killing. Heal me now. Smell something for that wound. Thank you. I'm gonna need to go to the frickin' tower now. This may be the best chance of a good run we've ever had. This might even be the god run. I still think I have actually over... Hang on, I'm gonna save before I do this. I have five, uh... In reserve, three in my magazine for this fucking chalice. But... This thing afterwards only reloads one per. So right now, for the first cycle of this chalice, we have a busted fucking like super blast of damage on an enemy, which I'm gonna use on the boss. Let's roll. Come on. We gotta do this all by the books, right now. Best chance we have for a good run. Thankfully, I think this revolver is long enough range I can actually fucking kill the guys in the tower with it. Without them getting a shot on me. And then it's just a matter of, um, doing everything perfectly in a boss fight I don't remember. <laughs> Hopefully the revolver shoots straight. Yeah, oh, we can only dream, guys, that maybe the revolver... Uh, oh, there's actually a uh, 5 FPS smack move that would absolutely fucking kill me if I tried to engage in melee with an enemy with this revolver in my hand. <laughs> Aunt Sophie! Oh my god! Aim for body shots. This shit doesn't do a lot of damage. But it is hitting. It's gonna use most of my ammo, but it's better than getting fucking one shot. Okay. Time to go. I'd rather spend all my ammo killing these guys than get fucking 60% of my health destroyed in one shot. Is that all of them? Or is there another?
I see him. There we go. Okay. There might still be another. But I don't got eyes. Give me the ammo. Ow, fuck, I bonked my head. I might be emotionally devastated, actually, if the uh, holy water doesn't um, actually do something helpful against the boss and he just shreds me the second I get in after having this god run. Um, that might that might break me, guys. That may break me. Sophie, chill. I'm not saying I'm gonna lose. Did I just reload 15 times and lose all my ammo because I wasn't thinking? Dude, I'm tempted to load my quick save off of that, which I did make. Uh, cause I wasn't even, oh, it's at, ooh, there it goes, dude. Well, hey, that's what the chalice is for. Yeah, rip, oh yeah, check this one out. Y'all wanna see me pop the fuck off? Overheal. Done it. Where you going, pussy? Where are you going, pussy? Where are you going, pussy? Oh, did you not want to get sprayed in the face with acid? Get, get wet, loser. He's not legally dead yet. He's like flying around. I think he's experienced immense pain. I don't think he was prepared to take that much damage. Is what happened, chat. He's like straight up reeling from the damage. I don't know what to do now. Um... I have to shoot the bats, but I can barely see them. Okay, they're doing a boatload of damage to me, and I can barely hit them. Would have been a lot easier with a revolver that had ammo, you guys know what I mean? Would have been a lot easier with a revolver with ammo. I have four rounds still. I got one. I got one. I got another. I got him. It wasn't that easy. Hello? Don't worry, Sophie. I, <laughs> I think I almost got him. Show yourself, vampire! Key fell off the map. No, it didn't. There's a bug if you kill him too quickly. If that's the case, then I'm allowed to reload because I totally legally killed him. And you all fucking saw it. Okay, so if it's possible for me to bug him because I did it too well, if he kills me while I'm trying to do it the right way, we're gonna fucking roll with it until I win because I fucking ripped him in half. Okay? No, 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 no. All right, I'm willing to check and reload that, but after that, I'm allowed to kill him naturally, even if he gets me once, cause uh, that'd be ridiculous. Hang on, let me check behind all this stuff. Oh, you get like stuck somewhere? Where are you? I think I bugged him. I think, guys, I think I dispatched the boss so fast he actually didn't know how to, like, continue the game with me. Okay. Um. Well, his coffin's not here. Chad, this isn't exactly, like, a big arena. Oh, there's a staircase here. Wait, 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 wait. Might not be over. Wait, 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 wait. I think there's another step. I might have forgotten it. And that's where I break my legs. 
Bro? Is this your coffin? Bro? 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 He should be here. So I did kill him too quickly. <laughs> so the the consensus is that I poured a like acid on his face and he just blew up. Bro. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna load my quick save. And this time, now that I've, I would say I legally killed him. I, <laughs> look, I'm gonna say that one counted cause um, I'll tell you what, he fucking blew up. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time I'm gonna do it a little slower. I'm gonna like do one splash and let him react to, and like scream properly. I'm gonna let him feel the pain before I blow him up. Ah! 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 Was that good that time? And now I'll just take care of these little bats. One's down. That's another. Got it. Okay. Was that slow enough? He showed pain that time. He showed pain. I'm gonna loot the stuff up here and then I'm gonna go back down there and maybe this time it's over. If not, I gotta take it even slower for this guy. But I think I went slow, very slow that time in comparison. So hopefully that's enough. Dude, it's gotta suck being a vampire if you're this weak to just me praying at you hard enough. Oh, there we go. Hey man, psst, psst, psst. hey, hey buddy, hey buddy. Little splash, little sippy before I put you down. You've slain the Desmodow vampire. Desmodow Lee was the right hand of the Count. He's been slain once and for all and can never return to the realm of the living. Now you have a chance to return to the roof and rescue Aunt Sophie, oh yeah. If she's still alive. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I remember that face. Look it off. And how the hell could I forget that? How the hell could I forget that face? Um. Okay, well, I'm gonna loot this place. Um, I'm not gonna, guys. I know that that chalice is really OP, but, um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep on using it, um, on every boss going forward, because that might just be the most busted thing ever. I don't think I used it when I. I don't think I used it last time at all. Uh, that was ridiculous. Man, I mean, like, lost in the boxes. Re revolver, ammo. This time we're gonna make sure to not reload all the time and waste every fucking bullet. From the scripts of Grimvald Vorius, the ancient vampire Lord Malachi was fettered to a tomb within the heart of the main castle building hundreds of years ago at the end of the Crimson War. The tomb was constructed by the enemies of the vampire lord to keep him from returning from the dead and it was sealed shut with a magical ward, breakable only by a soul sacrifice in the first rays of the morning sun. Oh shit. Well, okay. Sure there's nothing up here? Loads of ammo to cover all of my losses. It's nice. Don't need that. Don't need that. Do need that. Oh my god, it's a fucking shadow demon! Bye. Briefing room? Where the hell's Aunt Sophie? It's the eleventh hour, you have one hour until midnight. Well, uh, wait, I think I took a wrong turn. I'm gonna have to double back around for them later. Yeah, it's called a fucking gun. All right. I'm gonna go back and heal. I got a little, I got a little turned around right there. Heal. 
Guess I'll clear the briefing room quick. I, sh I can't fucking see anything. There we go. Aunt oh, Sophie, don't worry, I'll get you eventually. Father reveals Encyclopedia of the Undead Part 2. Desmodus vampire bats have teeth with ra razor sharp incisors which penetrate their prey. Rather than suck blood, however, they allow the blood to flow and they lap it up with their tongue. Okay, uh, well, I gotta worry about bats, I guess, now. Ain't seen any of those yet. Wonder if they can be punched really bad. Wonder if I can just punch them to death. The father's trying to guide me a different way, but I would appreciate loot. I killed your boss earlier. If only I could have killed him with that technique. If only I could have slain him. You think he knows? Oh my god! Damn! Sick jump! I'm gonna do that jump too. Yeah. Nothing up here. That way goes down. Military library. There's just a ghoul reading books in here. It's the ghost of a fucking nerd, man. Back up. Back up. Yay, that's right. Give me just enough time to beat the shit out of you. I'm not into reading. I'm not into reading. What I'm into is uh, specifically like, okay, hang on. Yeah, just line up. Take you both down at the same fucking time. Okay. Uh, oh shit, there's still more of them. Okay. Now that we've come to an understanding. I'll backtrack quick and grab some health. So there's just some laying around here and there. Garrison too. Dude, I'm... <clears throat> I'm just a little... Oh, fuck. It's bad. Never mind. I did a jump maneuver, and I lived. I don't want to be clearing a new zone. I want to leave. So I guess I'm going to backtrack. Um, I don't really want to get killed on the way out of a boss fight. So let's get the revolver out. Three rounds in it right now. Uh, let's take the way I'm supposed to be taking instead. Remember I didn't clear this whole zone. Let's take the way that the lights are saying to go. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. This gun's trash. Dude, my bare hands are the strongest weapon in the fucking game. Jesus. Dude, where the hell am I? Can I get home? Oh, James. Emily Kingstone! So long? Dude, I still need to save Sophie. She's still dangling from the ceiling. Is she dead? I hope she's not dead. It doesn't say she's dead. I'll follow you anywhere, James. Yeah, follow me. Okay, we're going downstairs. She's still dangling from a fucking chain. I didn't mean to leave her. Come on. We'll just follow the green lights and go home first. Look, it's fine. Come on. You coming with me? Oh my god, come with me. Come with me, old lady. We're hugging the perimeter. Follow me. Good. If you're sure about this, I'll stick around here. Of course I'm sure. I didn't know. You keep following me. 
I'll follow you anywhere, James. Oh, yeah? Then continue to do that. All right. Don't stop midway through. With me now. Thank God the priest is alive to guide me. If he was dead, I don't think I'd get these green lights. Downstairs next, I think. Keep going down. Man, there's an awful lot of escort quests. It's almost as if it is the game. Or something. Almost as if it is the game. I just am surprised that, um... I'm just surprised that it put me so far away. This is very bad. Okay, it got better. This this could have been a kill room, guys. That was fucked. But we are okay. No items under here. Calm down, Mrs. Livingstone, or whatever the fuck your name is, Kingstone. I got it under control, all right? I'm just, I'm pun I've taken down dozens of these creatures at this point. Please come with me. How? Dude, I'm starting to get worried it's not taking me home. I'm starting to get worried it's taking me, like, to some silly... Like... Okay, well, that's a dude with a fucking scythe. I'm starting to get worried. Dude, where's my, where is she? Where is she? Is she back here? Where is she? Stop cowering by the I'll fucking. Anywhere, James. Dude, dude, Sophia, Aunt Sophie is dead. And that means Buster is gonna be trapped in that fucking cage until the end of days. My quick save is long after I had killed the boss. They're fucking dead. And the green light has stopped leading me. Meaning I don't know which way it is actually out of here. Major corner. Oh, fuck! Oh, I blocked him! I canceled it! We got him! Jesus, that could have been it! Green light's pointing me this way, good. We're not done yet. Just a little further, come on! Where the fuck am I? Key to the garrison? Dude, where, where am I? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Dude, I didn't want to be here. I mean, having that key is cool and all. I was far more interested in departing the room. You know what I mean? Or are we in the garrison and I have to leave back the way I came? Fuck. We're probably in the garrison, I have to leave. Okay, well. At least it's been mostly harmless tools. I have- Dude, I'm like picking up tech! <laughs> this sucks! Dude, I'm actually- I'm actually picking up fucking tech at this point. I'm doing like attacks on both guys <laughs> to cancel their animations. Come on, lady! Jesus! I'm getting my brain rewired. Health. Give me health. Thank you. And again. Thank you. Oh, let's fill up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, these two rooms are... I guess I'm gonna fucking clear this place. If I'm lucky, maybe I'll find another person in here. No, they're not. No one's coming. Get out of the way! Jesus! You plan on getting yourself killed? I'm sure about this. I'll stick around here until you're back. You planning on dying or something today? I think she's out there dying right now. Nope, she's fine. Dog behind me. Flick shot, kill him, put him in the ground. You wait right there. There's always two dogs, dude. I should have seen it coming. All right, we're moving on, come on. Come on. 
Good. Okay, we came in through there. We're moving this way. Empty. Heal. Health. Good. Dude, I mean, I'm starting to... How the hell did this guy get here so fast? I'm starting to get pretty confident in my ability to clear normal rooms. But it's just ghouls and shadow guys and dogs, which most of this place is just dogs. I'm worried about if another gun guy shows up. That's, that is, I believe, a, um, I'm actually gonna waste a bullet to fully load a you're revolver. Sure about this, I'll follow you anyway. Come with me, lady. Of course I'm sure. The only thing I'm not sure of is where I am. <laughs> if I, uh, but you, stop blocking the fucking doorway. Come with me. Come on. We have to go back. We went deep into a long branch. I've still got an update. Aunt Sophie is still alive, ladies and gentlemen. I repeat, Aunt Sophie is still alive. Everyone, we need Aunt Sophie in our thoughts and prayers. I need everyone to pray really hard. Garrison. I don't know where the fuck this is. This is bad. This isn't a place I've been. Wait. Yes, it is. Wait. No, it fucking isn't. And that's a kill portal. We need to leave before we aggro it and get exploded. We need to go downstairs. No, we're going to clear the rest of this place first. This would be the exit either way. We're going this way. Past the crazy dog. We need to maximize our trips. If there's shit still to loot and possible NPC spawns, we have to keep moving. Light another torch. You're gonna be fine, Mrs. Kingstone. You're gonna be fine. Is this... Okay, we went downstairs, but there was still more up here, wasn't there? Wasn't there, Miss Kingstone? We're so lost, we're not lost. We know exactly where we are. I know I need to go downstairs to leave. And I know I came in through this door. Or was it this door? It wasn't the one with an active fucking portal in it, I'll tell ya what! Come on! Don't show them you're scared! Just keep swinging, auntie! You okay? If you're sure about it, yeah. I'll follow you anywhere, James. I am fucking sure. Ah, fuck. Did you just shoot a gun? Or was that me trying to sheath? M trying to holster my gun? Just throw out a bullet. Fuck. Whatever. Come on. We're leaving. I had to save Sophia. We don't have time. God fucking damn it, I keep on thinking we're in the right place! And then it opens up and it's not the right room! Fire me then, come on! Don't get in my way, door! Don't get in my way! Come on! We just need to go down. Alright? We're gonna try to go down more. Where are they? Stop blocking the hallway. Stay right there. Nope, come closer to me. Sure this way. I need you away from those doors! Miss Kingston! Fuck! Oh, maybe everything's okay. Okay. Easily solved. Come on. Can't guarantee that I'm gonna keep this place as well cleared as I've been doing so far. But, um... This was the room I went in earlier. Which means that was where the dead dog was. Yep. Oh my god, she's actually, like, getting me stuck. I need to get the fuck away from me. You need to keep going downstairs. Come on, you old bag! Sophie needs our help! There's a coffin over there. Is anyone else in here? Might be a dude up above me. 
What's scaring you? Chill. Dead. Flurry of a thousand blows! Cool, good. We're still in the fight. Move, lady! Oh my god. Oh my god, she's blocking the fucking doorway. Ah, they're dead! They're coming for me! They're dead. No, they're dead. No, I put a freaking stake in their heart. They're dead. They're not gonna come for you. Idiot. Oh, yeah. I'll pull you anywhere, James. Yeah? Come on. Oh, there really was someone after her. Who would have thought? Yeah, she could just stay in there for a minute. If you're sure about this, I'll stick around. No, I don't want I don't want you to stick around. I want you to keep following me. Mrs. Kingstone. Get out of the fucking trench. Come on. You're with me. Come on. I need to get you home. Because I still need to save Aunt Sophie, who's dangling at a fucking clock tower. Still. Oh my god. Wait. Guys. I know where that leads. I recognize those communal toilets. Guys. Guys. My. Guys. Come on! We made it! We made it out! Come on, Mrs. L Mrs. Kingstone! We're gonna save Sophie, and then, and then we're gonna save Buster. I gotta drop her off first, or she's gonna kill herself. I got a bad feeling about Mrs. Kingstone. I feel like Sophie can dangle for another like 15 minutes. We'll get her next. I'm just gonna drop off Mrs. Kingstone first. Just in case. And I'm gonna fill up my chalice and then we're back on the road again. Hey, oh, heal me. Here's a little something for that wound. So you give me, you give me something useless because you're a nothing character. I should've just fucking put you in the ground. I can't believe how long I spent protecting her for nothing. The Kingstones aren't even my family. They're just people, <laughs> but whatever. Uh, we brought them with us. They brought a gun on the trip. Uh, also questionable. Convenient, convenient, all things considered, because of the circumstances. But I can't believe they would have known they needed a gun. So I'm not sure why Mr. Kingston brought a fucking gun on the fucking, to the wedding. But whatever. Um, let's go pick up Sophia, or Sophie, so we can go save Buster. And that's another two family members done. I'm not going to need the chalice. There shouldn't be anyone here. But I am going to load the, uh, I'm going to load this gun just in case we have a, another pack of, uh, riflemen up here. What does the dog unlock? I don't know. A little bit of, a little bit of whimsy and like happiness in these horrifically trying times. In the, in the, some of the darkest ages our people have ever known, perhaps. A little bit of joy and hope. Hey, Sophie. <laughs> I know you might have thought that I forgot about you. I didn't. I actually just took a wrong turn, and you wouldn't believe the adventure I went on. But I'm here now. Uh, just give me one sec. I gotta go back upstairs, and then I'll uh, get you down from there. No. Oh, never mind. I glitched right through it because I'm that strong. I'm in. Sophie, don't worry. I got you. I'm not stopping for nothing. Sophie. Sophie. I was about to scream. Nah, guys. I got this under control right now. Oh. Right now, we're doing a god run. Okay. It took us a while to get the ball rolling, but now that it's rolling, holy shit. Sophie, thank God you're alive. No, I, I shut the fuck, shut up. the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. 
Shut the fuck up. Let's go. Oh! I just, she, that's not my aunt! That's like a freaking skinwalker stole my aunt's face! What the fuck? I would not ask her to be at my wedding. I wouldn't want anyone to have to see that shit. What the fuck is that? I wouldn't want that to be at my wedding. She's got a, she's got a, oh, fuck! Okay, so that doesn't count, but I do wonder what happened. <laughs> so that doesn't count. But that's why we're quick saving, is for moments like this. What the fuck just happened to me? Did we just hit the bottom and my guy exploded? I might have to send her down on a different elevator trip than me, guys. What, what the f- I, Did I build up kinetic energy going down that, like, the fucking elevator? Because that's going to cost Sophie a lot if I can't get her out of here. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to do- She just cut me off. I'm going to do this thing where I jump every little bit so as to break up some of the kinetic energy I'm building up on the trip down. And hopefully- that might keep me from blowing up. And now, I'm gonna jump onto the bridge right away. You okay? Oh, you stupid, stupid old bag! Oh, Sophie! <laughs> Reload, guys. Reload, guys. Now that there's another reload. The dog guys, I don't give a shit about Aunt Sophie. What I give a shit about is the dog and I want to get the dog out of its cage I want to let the dog be free. You know, we got to let the dog out um, but um Your problem isn't able to do that. We have to help Aunt Sophie down the elevator and she's like actually like a straight-up like geriatric like dementia ridden old person they barely know what's going on and They have to turn on these slow like really awkward angles Oh my god. Just gotta keep doing what I was doing last time so I don't break my fucking legs. Dude, I don't know what to do to stop her from falling. Okay, Aunt Sophie. Come on. Come on. Don't you fucking dare do the same thing twice! Come with me. Good. With me now. Poor guy, I turn around, I just see her falling, I'm gonna scream. Come on. Pitter patter down the stairs. I don't know why my guy goes so slow down some stairs. But, uh, looks like he like builds momentum. Like, stairs in this game work like slides. If you go down it slow at the start, you just never build any momentum. If you go down really fast, I guess that's not really how slides work. Weird. Ramps in this game are fucking weird. Okay, guys, get excited. We just unlocked Buster. Guys, let's get pumped. We just unlocked Buster the dog. There. Thank you, James. You acted like a true British gentleman. Yeah, shut the fuck up. The shut the fuck up. Buster! Buster! I'm here to save you. Fuck you, auntie. Why do you leave Buster's goddamn cage, like, locked? He's a good dog. I need to be in a cage. Buster, thank God. There you go. Buster will follow you and protect you with his life. Thank God. A buddy. In these trying fucking times. Can I should I drop him off? I should drop him off. I don't think I can. Foster over here. Drop him off, please. I don't know how. Look, Buster's a good doggy. 
Um, I don't really want to lose Buster. Does that count as dropping him off? I think so. We're going to call that dropping him off. All right, bye, Buster. Bye-bye. Be safe. I gotta go back to the garrison. Chat, that's next. We're going back to the garrison now in the east wing. Oh, I gotta fill up my chalice. Hang on. Yeah, I don't want... I don't want Buster dying. I don't want to lose Buster. I, I'd rather die than let Buster die. Watch him show up in 20 minutes when you're mid-fight? I mean, that would be kind of heroic and badass. I don't see how I could possibly complain about that outcome. It's just I've seen NPCs in this game straight up throw themselves off cliffs. Um, trying to turn corners. So I don't feel great about bringing Buster any, to be honest. Like, because I feel like he's going to have follow the same rules. And really, I don't have the time. I don't have the time to worry about that. Guys, we are kind of on a... We're on a... We're on a bit of a time crunch with uh, this game here. Kind of got to move quickly. We'll go back up to the garrison now. Up the stairs to the garrison. Move on as quick as we can. Alright. Time to dial in. Garrison. Let's get us back up. We gotta clear the garrison next. There's gotta be some people in here still. God knows where they are. But I know there's still folks alive from the party. We're gonna save them. Oh shit, that guy really didn't expect me to come in this way. Defeated cleanly and without hesitation. Hi, doggy. You look just like Buster if he was evil. That was a big waste of a health pack. I feel like my punches are getting stronger. I'm getting faster, braver, more powerful every day. Things get a little easier. The droning music really needs to fucking chill out, though. How'd this doggy get back in here, man? All right, I'm gonna go back to the health kit that was in the other other room, and apparently this is a dead-end shithole. Like, this garrison room is useless. It doesn't even connect to the other zones. Go figure. Okay. Well. Nope. Uh, noted. Noted. We're out of here. There might be another garrison key section up here. Trying to like eyeball at this chest I haven't opened in these rooms without actually entering and aggroing the enemies. Garrison. <laughs> the fucking flurry flick shots, dude. And I'm still getting hit. It's really hard to not get hit, but I'm canceling most of the damage. Make the music stop! <laughs> Sorry, man. I wish the flute would have given you a better intro there, but he didn't. What's happening over there? Oh, it's a dog. He's hopping around a little weird. was full of demons, guys. I know a lot of you were thought the dog was a good friend. I think you might have been mistaken because that dog was evil as hell. He was evil as hell. Okay, so we're back at the church section. I recognize this place. I want to go up top. I can't believe demons killed that dog. When, when will they learn? 
They're just making this all so much harder for themselves. All right, over here is the exit. Some of the dogs are acting strange lately, guys. That dog also stopped running and just started running in place. Something's wrong with the wildlife and creatures of this world. They're acting, dare I say, silly. And I'm not sure I quite appreciate it at all. Why is my key? Okay, I have the garrison key. I'm, I'm not entirely sure where to go. And I keep getting stuck on these things. I gotta clear this place more thoroughly, I guess. Anything up here? I don't see anything. All right, the only room left is. Ow. I think we can go back. I mean, there's a point where I started like running faster because I was carrying uh, Mrs. Kingstone with me. Maybe I should make a point of clearing some of these spots again. How the hell did the dude? I don't want to go back and heal. I'm at 50%. I'm go up another level, but I'm going to be walking in circles. Yeah, I'm literally walking in circles right now. That's where I get the key for the tower. Why is the five backwards? I don't know. It makes it spooky and a little, little messed up, doesn't it? it kind of, doesn't it kind of make you unsettled, guys? Guys, doesn't it kind of make you unsettled? Like, is there something wrong? Ah! Jesus! It is half past 11, midnight is closing in. Well, what does that concern me unless you're about to say that I lost the game? Which I didn't, mind you. I looted that room. There's the big rooms. Those will be the rooms where I can actually get maybe some loot or find someone that's still not rescued. Health? I mean, I'll happily help myself to health. Come on. You saved Buster, so you already won. True. I mean, honestly, guys, what that chat member says is true. We did win the first main objective of the game. Why do I feel like I did not clear all of this zone? Malachi still lived? Yeah, but... Yeah, but I don't really much care about whether or not Malachi lives, alright? I care about Buster. Okay, I did not clear all of this place. I know that for sure. Some of these side rooms. This one? No, that one I did. He's going in circles. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. All right, I've been doing good on time. I can afford to take some silly turns. If it means being thorough. There's a specific room I'm looking for and I don't remember where it is. I'd like to find it. Now stop stressing me out. All right. You don't want to know what happens when I get stressed out. I'm going in fucking circles. All right. I'm gonna go farther this way. 
I'm gonna try to retrace my steps until I find the place I wanted to be. My streamer is lost. Well, I'm not being given like... My directions suck! Okay? Fuck! I'm going back downstairs. No sense of direction. Okay, Katie. Where do I go? Got some sense of direction to you then, huh? Where do I go? And where, pray tell, is my next destination? Left? Just broke my fucking legs going left. Uh, you have any other bright ideas? That wasn't left. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Here we go. This is where I want it to be. I want to go upstairs. I want to go up from this spot here. I remember this place. I want to check these corners for health kits too. We want to go up. Keep going up. And then we want to go down. He's going in circles again. News flash streamer, you're lost and it's almost midnight. You've passed that up. Uh, you've passed that L portal 15 times. At least we closed those oblivion gates. Well, 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 doesn't chat look a little silly now? Well, 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 well. Doesn't chat look a little silly? Well, we aren't the ones at 63 health. Qu quiet. Oh, they're giving me ammo. Guys, this is a boss fight and I'm going in with low health. Should I bail? That makes me feel like, yeah. I'm like slipping. Skip. Dude, I can barely even control myself. You think I want to watch a fucking cutscene? Think I got time to watch a fucking cutscene? I can barely walk. Don't you fucking even dare try it. All right. Gunpowder. Health. Health. Love to see it. Health. Love to see it. Where's my chalice? I feel like I should be getting attacked by the boss, but I skipped the intro so the boss never showed up. Pathetic. Alright, I'm gonna do it clean, okay? Another vampire! Splash of water. Splash of water. And she's fucking dead. Alright, where's your coffin? Apparently there was fucking evil ghost demons, and... We don't count those, but that was really stupid. <laughs> there was a wall there! <laughs> I was not, I actually was like straight up stuck on something, tried to jump over a rock and it slingshotted me off the cliff. <laughs> Dude, look at how little control I have. Look at this, I can't move with A and S right now, or A and D, I literally can't move. I've got like this momentum my character's building. It's so weird. On like any imperfect surface, my guy slides around. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just gonna run for it again. Hey. Splash of holy water! Splash of holy water! Crucifix! 
The other one's over there scampering. Dude, you look fucking evil. I'm not sure I should be saving you. Oh, that was the succubus. Gotcha. Oh, there's a dude with a gun shooting at my guy. Hey, leave him alone. Greg! No, hurry up. The vampire succubus has returned to her coffin in the grave tomb below East Wing to regain her strength. Find it and drive a wooden stick through her heart when she's in her coffin and kill her once and for all. She holds the key to the West Wing where she's trapped everyone but Lord Belmore and Rebecca. We must find and bring them to safety. Okay, dude. Well, there's the stuff for the basement. We should get the, uh, fuck off the roof. Dude, this place is a fucking shithole and Greg's not following me and those bats attack us. Which is really bad. Like, I really need Greg with me. And I can barely maneuver. Oh, he's gonna fucking jump off of the goddamn roof, guys. Greg is gonna fucking kill himself. I have no doubt in my mind it is over. It's fucking over. I can barely- I don't even know if I can get back out. Come on, Greg. Okay, he knows how to jump. That's good. Let's get out of here before the bats show up. With any luck. Um, oh my god, I'm sliding again. Oh my fucking god, get back in there. Why do I have to have him leave this way? We both know it's not gonna work. We both know he's not gonna make it out of here if we take this staircase. Okay, we just wanna leave again. We wanna bring- Greg? Greg? Why are you, like, busting a fucking move? Now I'm gonna call the elevator back up. Stop whistling, you're scaring me. Get on the elevator. Good. I don't know why I had to pull that twice, Greg, but I think we're gonna be okay now. Uh, one time when I was going down one of the elevators, my guy blew up. Oh, there's health kits here. Wow, that would've been really helpful. Okay, well, good news is, I'm under attack. Greg, come on. The good news is, I've explored this place so thoroughly that most enemies should either be dead or dying. And I know the way out, and it's go down as far as I can. And then we'll go to the accursed, um... That accursed boulder. Activate that next- Greg, come on! We'll activate that next, we'll bum rush it through the next zone. The next zone's when it gets really bad. Um, but we're doing pretty good. That's another health portal- Greg! Greg! Come on! You don't understand, Greg. Time is of the essence. It's almost midnight. And I'm doing awesome on time right now. I don't want I don't want to squander it. So come on. That would be the way I would go if I wasn't going to keep going down. Come on, Greg. Keep going downstairs until we drop him off. And then we go find the We already cleared. there's a coffin right there. That's the person I already staked. I staked that vampire long ago. Keep going down. As far as the game allows. Isn't that right, Greg? Come along. Keep your wits about you, Greg. I know we have- I know I have 70 rounds in this fucking gun. But believe me, that does not mean I win. That doesn't mean I win. That- that doesn't mean nothing yet. Okay. Can I just- I don't actually know if this is going to take me where I want to go. So I'm going to make a new save here. Yeah, I'm going to make sure I've saved in this spot. I don't really... I think this might take me to the coffin, which I don't really want to do. They're giving me stakes. Ow! Oh! I'd break my fucking leg coming down here? All right, lady, well... Fucking die. <laughs> You've exercised the soul of Murray, the succubus, by staking her. Murray was a concubine to the Count. She's been slain once and for all and, to n and can never return to the realm of the living. Is Greg gonna break his fucking legs coming down here? Greg? Oh, Greg, you fuck up. <sighs> He's gone.
He's gone, guys. Is there like a way you can push him in? I'm gonna reload and see. Cause uh, I don't know how to get back here easily. Oh, uh, okay, hang on, I gotta load my actual save. Okay, Greg, psst, 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 psst. come on. Right here, in the hole. I'm gonna have to push him in, I'm gonna have to push him in first. Guys, I have to push this guy in first. Greg, come on, hey, come on, psst, psst, psst. get the fuck in there. Get the fuck in there, get in there. Get the fuck in there, Greg. You gotta be kidding me, Greg. Get the fuck in there. Get the fuck in there. He lived. I, I can tell you that right away. He lived. Oh, he opened the coffin preemptively. I'll stay here and safeguard this area until you return. Okay, well, um, don't worry, they're already dead, Greg, but thank you. Also, why do you talk like that? I know for a fact no one in the family has that accent. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> when did you when did you make that you do it? You, no one in the family is Irish, man. Or Scottish or whatever the fuck. Irish? I didn't hear enough of it to be sure. He married in. Well. Hey, whatever. Come on. Well, that's one more job done. And I got the key to the West Wing. Unfortunately, now we're in the shit. Come on, I'll be so gay. Holy shit, he helped me! Dude, he helped me! <laughs> Damn. Damn. Come on, Greg. We Come got work. I'll be so get you. He fucking killed that one in one punch. All right, I guess Greg doesn't need my help. Okay, Greg, come on. Okay, Greg can do it himself. Come on, foul beasts, I'll get you. Foul beasts, away! Oh shit, is this gonna put me in the courtyard? I better get my gun out, this could be bad. All right, <laughs> Greg, get on the fucking elevator. He's gonna fucking die doing this. I d he activated on his own? Oh fuck. We it is a miracle we're alive. I'll stay here and safeguard this area until you return. <laughs> Greg, I need you out the fucking door. You can't say that. Greg, uh, Greg, I need you out the door. Greg, you can't don't safeguard the fucking area. You need to get out the fucking doorway. Back down. Greg, we need to talk. We need to talk. You need to stand right there, right there, right there, right there. Stay right there. I'll stay here and safeguard this area yeah. until you return. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Thank you. I gotta clear some ads. Come on, I'll be Come on, Greg. Let's get the fuck out of here, Greg. He one shots them. Why would I even. Dude. Why would I ever put Greg away? He one shots the ads. I, I take like 50 hits. Greg, come on. Greg, I'm under attack, come on. All right, I'll handle this one. Don't, don't know what Greg's doing. Come on. Come on, foul beast, I'll get you. Dude, he's my fucking hero. And we saved him before he's even midnight. We are making excellent progress. Excellent progress indeed. Excellent progress. Dude, I'm actually surprised. Hello, doggy. I'm surprised um, how strong they let the fucking chalice be. Why do I feel like this can just beat the whole game? I can't believe I never used it in the stream that doesn't exist from 2019. One second, Greg. I want to refill my water. Come on, Greg. And then? Oh, hey guys, look, it's Buster. Hey, Buster. Come on, Greg. Oh, 
I'll take a seat here and rest for a while and recover. Then I'll be back to help you. Where do I get a box of ammo? Ammunition for a revolver, and you've drunk a potion of stamina. Your stamina has increased for the next six minutes. Well, I wish I had the choice of when to drink that. But the, uh, I have a hundred and something bullets. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, the bridge is down. All right, guys. We are now onwards. Ow, fuck. I'm just gonna reload because I just broke my fucking legs on that jump. I mean, I forgot I can heal at the doctor, but uh, whatever. Let's clear this place. For real. This is the part where this game gets fucked up, okay? Keep your eyes peeled, okay? Stuff could get a little silly. Get the fuck off me, get the fuck off me, get the fuck off me, get the fuck off me. Get the fuck off me. Guns fucking suck. Guns fucking suck. I'm going back to the doctor, and then I'm gonna finish this once and for all again. Hi, doctor. Here's a little something for that. I'm waiting for him to just be like, here's a little something for that wound, but it's gonna cost you. And then suddenly this game's gonna get a lot harder. Come on. Hey! Good morning. Yeah, I got 38 stakes, guys. I'm not worried about vampires. Actually, vampires have, across the board, been the least threat in this game to me. <laughs> Nothing down here at all? Nothing down here, just a vampire. Okay, bye. Waste of my fucking time, this tunnel. 38 stakes. Uh, let's see, yeah, 38 stakes. Um, 109 bullets for the revolver, 27, uh, flint lock rounds. Yep. I think we're working, we, we got, we're gonna, we're looking pretty Here's good. Here's a little something for that. Here's a fucking bandage for your boo-boo. What is that, six damage? Are you kidding me? Thank you. I gotta go that way. I'm gonna do this first. You guys mind if I just kind of... I gotta find some use for this. <laughs> gotta find some use for all this ammo I'm fucking sitting on, dude. WAKE UP! Okay, well, this was a nothing room. West Wing. This place is fucked up. One of the most accursed shitholes in the game. Eventually we'll get a machine gun out of it though, which will be pretty rad. You seriously are hiding in the room with the holy water pool? No, 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 come around the corner. Come around the fucking corner. Son of a bitch. Well, it's nice to have a holy water pool sitting around. There's two of them, huh? Dude. Splash. Why would I even give a shit now? This place is... Ow, fuck! What the fuck are you? There's just some guy doing fucking front flips and splash. Weirdo. All right, well. Splash of holy water for you. Would you like a sippy? Surprise water. Okay. What's this? I got something special for you. My bare fucking hands. Alright, die, freak. I'm gonna need more water for this one, guys. Yep. Yeah. Come on. I can barely see in this place. I'm gonna need a light torch or something. There we go. 
Hello. Water. I almost feel bad for these fucking creatures. I know at some point they're gonna overwhelm me and end the run, but you know, I almost feel bad for them in their current state. My guy, they really fucked with the wrong family this time around, because this guy's a psycho, guys. This guy took about five minutes of showing up at this fucking castle to be like, yup, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill them all. And <laughs> just started blasting. Yeah, that's it. I guess I'm gonna have to kill everyone in this fucking building. Dude, if I were the vampires at this point, I'd be like, you guys can fucking go. You guys can go. Like, I didn't think it was gonna play out like this. How could we have possibly known it was gonna play out like this? Please leave. Whoa, this is a bummer. Why do I have so- Hello. Oh, I got water in my eyes. <laughs> it's just, it's like comical, dude. The only thing that's a threat to me now is a dog. Because a dog would force me to like, take damage on like, the water like defense for a second. Like I wouldn't be able to like, attack him with the water move. So they'd get one free hit while I switched to my fists. Hello. Oh my god, auntie. The vampiric succubus has captured your brother. Yeah, I already saved him, Mrs. Patterson. Shut the fuck up. Water. All right, come on. Come on. Water? <laughs> Water? Uh, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, nightmare difficulty, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what- I think I just got insane luck in that this zone was like, Yeah, we'll give you a bucket of, like, super killer water in every room. Every room will have an adjacent pool of water. I should really just bring her back. Like, ASAP. Like... Part of me is like... Ah, uh, what's the rush? Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to do that part, Mrs. Patterson. All right, let's bring you back. L Mrs. Patterson, let's, let's. Mrs. Patterson, come on. I'm gonna bring you back home. I don't think you can do the parkour part. I think that part's a little past you. Uh, let's bring you back. Come on. Come on. Mind if I fill up on juice? All right. Let's go. Wow, I was actually a lot closer to the fucking base than I thought I was. I don't know why I thought it was like a million miles away and it was gonna be a pain in the ass to walk her back. All right, cool. Easiest collection so far, dude. Piece of cake. All right, here you go, Mrs. Patterson. Oh, James, thank you so much for getting me. I knew you would let me down. I know this was a wedding and all, but I decided to pack a whole bushel of garlic in my bag for some reason. I've been stinking like garlic all week. All my luggage, garlic. Uh, okay, you found garlic. It'll repel vampiric creatures for the next six minutes. I really shouldn't have picked that up. Why did I pick that up? When did I quick save? I think I was on my way out after successfully doing it on this one. Hang on, let me check the time. I actually want to save that. 52, 53. Load it. Guys, because we want to save that. Because it only activates for the next six minutes. So the thing is, uh, we'll use that when I want to bum rush it through an entire zone. Probably at the end, because, like, uh, if I make it to the final boss, he'll fucking go, and fucking, like, his face will melt off while I'm splashing garlic water like from a freaking like blessed pool in his eyes so we're gonna leave that like that and we're gonna move on does he have to beat the whole game before midnight no no midnight's like the first like uh, i think midnight's the deadline to beat the first boss guys <laughs> i think i'm actually clearing this insanely fast like i am i am actually bum rushing it through this game right now uh we're gonna stay on the bottom floor 
I, yeah, I think the game gets harder at midnight as well. I remember that. Which is why I am moving quickly. Because the more I get before midnight, the better. I actually got really lucky that no one attacked me during that. Oh, this place had grates on. Is that more water? That's not more water. No. Okay. Oh, wait, no. That's more water. <laughs> Dude, why would you even want to be a freaking creature of the night that lives here? Lesser vampires are young and mainly made to carry out the deeds of their master, the Count. Lesser vampires back away from holy relics like crucifixes. Yeah, I don't care. Oh, there's a key down there. I just have to drop down into this hole to get it. Oh, pray, who pray tell is this? Oh, fuck! You look like you could use a glass of water! Water. 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 That's all my water! It's bad! Oh. Never mind, it's fine. How the fuck do I beat this guy? I do not remember how to kill him. Do I have to use the stakes on him? I'm out of holy water. I mean, I'm gonna, if I have all the time in the world, I'm gonna use the fucking flintlock bullets. He seems to be stopping when I shoot him, so I'm not gonna waste the revolver rounds considering I'm never gonna use these. I think I missed a couple of my chalice throws, but uh, he's also, he looks like he's taking damage. That was almost bad, dude. I ran out of stamina. Thank God they put this safety tunnel in here. Dude, he's still cooking. There he goes, Jesus. Okay, and now, just in case. Foul beast vampire key. That's not fair. He, he does he didn't choose to be the way he is, dude. We don't have to be mean. Well. Wait. What the fuck was the point of that? Oh, I got the fifth level west wing key down there as well. Okay, so I got a key from doing that when I jumped down. I forgot. Okay, well. Refill my cup. Refill my cup. Back at full health. Nothing was lost whatsoever but some ammo. Dude. Good morning. <laughs> why even, why even exist? You know what I mean? <laughs> why, why even exist? Okay, well, we're down here. I guess I'm gonna go upstairs now. This room was to do that. Tiny cup floweth over. Guys. I actually need more. I actually need to fill up more. Okay, we're going upstairs to the fifth floor. Second level, god damn it. Is this also second level? Okay, there's keys for every level, which is... Uh, now I'm remembering fucking tragic. Hello? Hello? What's your name? Need some water? Oh, yeah, all I got is there's actually a special secret, guys. It's just Dasani. It's just Dasani in this fucking thing. They can't take it. Like, I don't actually pray to God when I use this. It's just Dasani public water. I don't, like, there's... 
Not really anything that special about it. I can't fucking see. I'm gonna need to use a torch. Oh shit! <laughs> These fucking losers! Dude, they're just getting. They're getting. F After I caught so many L's, guys. The game has given me the craziest RNG with a holy water pool on every level of this wing. The hardest section of the game. Oh shit, you're a guy! You're a guy! I have a gun for this. One check. That's actually my greatest uh, weakness in this, is that if a normal guy shows up, uh, they can casually dispatch me. I'm only strong against supernatural beings, like that guy. That's a dead body. Hello? Don't want a shippy? Oh, you're like a ghost. I'm just gonna kill you with this. Who the fuck is that little guy? Chill. Chill, go to sleep. Hang on, I'm not stupid though. I'm actually gonna backtrack to get more holy water. I am a cheesy piece of shit. Which is why I'm gonna go all the way back to get more water. Not about to get caught slipping. Well, I haven't seen one of those yet. The hell? Crazy. Oh, fuck. Guys, stuff's about to get unfortunately more difficult. It's midnight. That's bad. That's... Hey. The presence of evil is getting stronger. Really? See you? See you? Are one of you two the evil? That's so present. Well, this was a nothing hallway. This whole place was nothing. So I'm gonna go. It's actually a grand old waste of my time. Level two uh, unlocked side is worth it. Literally, who do you think you are? Dude, spend some time in hell thinking about it. Up to floor three, let's roll. Wait, both these sides are unlocked. Okay, so let's clear all of floor three right now. Should have stayed in the fucking ground. Dude, there's just no way they're doing this. There's just no way. There's just no way. Gun guy! He missed, though. So it's all gonna be okay, guys. Come here. Okay, thanks. Lock and load. He dies in one shot to this gun, so that's what we're gonna keep using. Where is my family? Where, pray tell, is my precious family? You guys here? And I'm gonna light another. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, while, I, while I'm lighting a torch to see? Really? I didn't realize that we had lost all honor. Pathetic. There's another pool. Dude, it's... It just ain't right. It, ju it just ain't right what I'm doing to these people. It just ain't right. You must be James. Manfred the Acolyte! So much about you. 
The reason for the Count lowering our blue-blooded family to his castle are that he wants to resurrect the ancient vampire Lord Malachi, who's been, unfe who's been fed into a tomb within the main castle for hundreds of years. The tomb was constructed to, re to refrain the Lord from returning from the dead, and is sealed shut with a magical ward, breakable only by the soul sacrifice in the first rays of the morning sun. The Count is- Oh, shit, you're actually here really early. Like, I actually thought they'd be closer to, like, the morning sun rays by now when I told you this. Is it only midnight? Is that- what is that? Is that a cup of delicious Fiji water? The Count is resurrecting Lord Malachi and has prepared a summoning ritual aimed at Malachi in his grave, whose strength is great- greatened for every sacrifice made. Me and Father Vil have a holy chalice in our trunk at the main entrance. Take me there and I'll give it to you- is that in your fucking hand right now? Okay. Hey, what is my purpose? Dude, have you just been hanging out with- Go back to sleep. Alright, man. Uh, you- honestly? Honestly, man, this doesn't look good. Makes it look like you're a vampire, but I'm gonna bring you back. Come on. Look out! Watch out, James. Come on. Come on. Wait a minute. I should splash him to test. He's real, guys. Guys. It's okay. That's him. Come on. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. Come on. Dude, don't try spawning in in front of me ever again. He's slow as shit, guys. He's doing that miserable praying walk. Look at him. Fucking hell. I'm gonna fill up my water again now. Come on. Ayahaya! Dude, get out of the fucking way! What is the matter with you? Whatever. Reload from here. Bazinga? It didn't sound anything like him saying Bazinga. Come on! Oh my god, this fucking guy. Guys, it's like 40 flights to get him back down. He is a million miles away. At least he's following me. Which way is it out of father, son, and the Holy Ghost. Quiet. Amen. Quiet. Just be just be quiet. Come on. Good God, dude. I'm really glad this guy uh, spawned relatively close to the exit, because Jesus walking this guy back would be I'd be tearing my fucking hair out. Hey, Buster, you're a good boy. Come on. Thank you, God, for bringing me to safety through James, your loyal servant. Yeah. Okay, well, that's him fixed. Here's a little something for that. Thank you. Bye. Troll. Back to work. Fourth floor is next, and then we got fifth, which we have a key for, so there's definitely a person in there. We are still missing. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. But I get the weird feeling it's about to speed up quite a bit. Can't get in there. Melissa? The fuck is Melissa? Melissa's dead? Who? Bye, Melissa. Peace. Don't know who that is. You know, that's the problem. I can't save them all. That's the problem. It's fucking really hard to save them all. She was probably in the other zone. She, you know what? Yeah, she was probably in the west wing or the east wing, and I never found her. Your bride to be Omegalol. No, guys, I'm not getting married. I'm just here to kill all the vampires. That's not my. It was a bug. She didn't spawn. What do you mean? What do you mean it was a bug and she didn't spawn? Did I get robbed? Where? It, it is a known bug. 
Dude, a cursed day. I'm gonna have to take it out on these ghosts. I'm gonna have to take it out on every living thing in this. You having fun bouncing on the freaking bed? Not anymore. No one has fun anymore. Thought that fucking pile of ammo was roaring at me, guys. You did not just power roll out of the way. <laughs> that guy did not just do a fucking roll out of the way. Asshole probably thought I was gonna put him down fast and clean with the water. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh e ooh! Ooh! Please! Just let me live! Okay. Wait, is he actually dead? He's actually dead. I killed him. That guy was the weakest fuck I've ever seen in the game. I thought he was just being funny. My fists are still my most powerful weapon. I know sometimes it may seem. What is the point of this room? Just the ammo storage room, I guess. Don't shoot that fucking gun! We got the drop on him. <laughs> Every enemy in the game dies like this, huh? Every enemy in the game dies like that. Every enemy in the game dies like that. They all die like that. Not one can stop me. <laughs> Not one enemy in this fucking game can stop me from just unleashing a barrage of 50 punches. <laughs> okay. Yep. Back to it then. Are you a vampire? I'm gonna take it as a yes. Chill? Guys. She, uh, tanked through quite a few of my splashes. Whoa, what the fuck is happening? Dude, what the fuck? Okay. Um... Dude, uh, well, that's that. That's that, bro. Use the garlic. I guess I should have if uh, I had known I was walking into a boss fight. Well, it's fine. You know, I've technically, guys, I've beaten this game before. Um, but it was fun to do it in like a hardcore run. That was a good fucking run. Uh, I don't think that, di I, I am kind of curious. I'm not gonna, hang on, where did my quick save go? Oh, that's way what I was gonna see if like I wasn't gonna keep running through it because I died. Um, I wanted to see if um, if I had taken it slow and not panicked because I didn't know I was gonna get attacked by a boss there. Um, I also didn't expect them to not get stun locked by the water. Um, I was curious if I just missed a couple throws and that's why they didn't get like immediately like disabled. But I also vaguely remember that room giving me trouble when I first played this game in 2019 as well. I think that room was fucked. Because you get like five ghouls on you at the same time. Boss was human, the chalice did nothing. Could have appreciated like a lore head. No, they should, they had fucking vampire teeth. No, 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 they had vampire teeth. I probably would have needed a machine gun. Yeah, I didn't find it yet. They screeched. They were a vampire. They weren't, they weren't RPing. Anyways, Chet, that's it for today. Uh, I, wow, there was re there really was a lot of me bullying ghouls though. That was fun. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow. i a co-op thing with the, with the lads. So I'll see you all then. Thanks for coming on by. Hope you had fun. I'll see you later. Same time as always. Bye bye, dude.